right. Good morning, man. Hi. What is it, Wednesday? It certainly is. It's Whip Em Out Wednesday somewhere in all, America. All day. Ah. It's like all saying that sometimes. <laughs> all day long. All day long. Yeah, wow well, is a fine, fine concept. For the new listeners, you throw wow on your ride, and uh, there are ladies out there. They see the wow, they will flash you. It's Whip Em Out Wednesday. That's what they call it. And basically, it's whip them out whenever. Basically, if you got wow in your car, there's a very good chance you're going to see boobs as you drive around. Boobage. You can get a wow sticker by going to opianthony.com, or, or you can just send in a self-addressed stamped envelope, and we'll send out the wow stickers to you. I think that address is up on opianthony.com. That's our, that's our low-brow promotion that they always mention in the articles to show us as those wild guys that we are. Shock and jocks. then there's Whip Em Out Wednesday. These shock jocks came up with that. Uh, I believe it was uh, 18 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like, like 11. It. Seems like it. Seems like it, doesn't it? Oh, hell yeah, it does. Someone's, uh, <laughs> someone, someone's saying that we made the uh, New York Times crossword puzzle? No way. And uh, E-Rock is trying to find the New York Times crossword puzzle. And so far, no luck. You're actually trying to find uh, the New York Times. Yeah, Do we, we don't even have it. Yeah, we don't we never the New use York it. Times. The only time we've ever used the New York Times was before we got the window shades. Uh, we used to tape it up over it when we had nude women in the studio. So when we had that nudity, we wouldn't get any sexual harassment. I thought that was charges. supposed to be like the toughest crossword out there. Yeah, it is. It is. Do they have you guys in a little picture? Look, picture in here's, eighteen across. Here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> it's. I'm thinking the question is something like, uh, now direct, but was in the Andy Griffith show. No. Uh, and uh, it's Opie. No, Anthony, they did change that. Really? Yes. They did change that. And it's? It's something about a shock jock now. Really? I, I swear to God. But, uh, but just Opie? I don't know if it's blank and it, I don't know. Because that would really upset me if it's just Holy Opie. Holy shit, I've told you that before. What? What? I've I've been in the New York Times the crossword, crossword puzzle. puzzle. I've told you that. You gotta listen wow. to me sometimes. But they but but I th always thought it was as no as Ron some, Howard after the Sex for Sam thing it, it it changed and they don't do the Ron Howard clue anymore for OPIE. It's you. Yeah. You're the new OP clue. I'm the new OP clue <laughs> in the New York the Times crossword stuff. puzzle. Yeah. And you're like the band that gets left behind as he goes on his. I'm the solo. other guy from Wham. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's just that. I don't know. Opie's more unique as, as far as, as a crossword puzzle yeah, goes. Uh, Anthony Newley rates over me than in a crossword puzzle. Like I mean, I, an Anthony, there's ten billion of them that they could put in there. See, when you think Anthony, there's many, many Anthonys in the entertainment Anthony business. Quinn. Exactly. Something that's like not, that. That's actually not it. No, it's all the vowels. Okay. Yeah, you that's need what it is. You need a lot of vowels, e. and then you bring the the the. Ah, the consonants the, the, the down downs. the other way for yes. the downs. What yes. page is it on? We can't find it? Not in there. Oh, maybe the guy gave us false information. Maybe his pants are on fire or, as we speak. Or maybe it's the Sunday New York Times. Uh, maybe Crossword that's puzzle. it. Whatever. We're maybe here. It's, it and it's Whip Him Out Wednesday, so we got that out of the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, want to say hi to Bill Burr. He's in studio today. That's right. How Which, are you, fellas? Back in his seat that uh, Patrice had taken, the power seat. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. All uncomfortable the last couple of days in that other seat. Just trying to. Well, that is. The, <laughs> I'm just trying to start trouble like right sleepy. off. The, all uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Looking over that like, the, what is wrong here? That is the power seat because it's the one Jimmy sits in all the time when he's here. So, oh, so I psychologically, see. when a guest comes in to fill in for Jimmy, if he's not sitting in the Jimmy seat, he is second rate to the person that is in Jimmy's seat. So there's always a scramble for that seat. And oh. Patrice has had it. And I think both these guys will be in tomorrow, so it'll be interesting to see who, see who gets seat. the power seat. Well, who uh, gets there first? Exactly. Exactly. See, Bill hadn't been here first. There's really no drama going on here, Opie. We're trying we're to trying just build up to We're trying, trying to create I'm drama. I'm expose. Don't expose that part of our show. I'm going to expose it. Don't. It has wow. done very well for us. <laughs> Don't expose, don't, don't expose the big ones. He's just a bit wrecker. Don't expose the big ones. There's, there's you can no... expose the cute little ones, but don't I'm expose the good cop, bad cop. Expose everything and force you sons of bitches to start writing some new shit. Start working. <laughs> to start working finally? Speaking of which, I, no one ever explained your mom's box to me. That was just the last um, 
words that Psycho Mark said when yep. he got fired back in the day. Well, he got fired for a sex for, another sex for Sam we did. Yeah, that sure took its toll. Because his couple had uh, anal sex on the boss's couch in front of one of the bosses on this fine leather sofa. Okay. And the boss was looking through the glass and said, no, don't do that. No, this was all live on the air. And Psycho Mark goes, ah, just do it. And they proceed to have anal sex on the boss's couch. Wow. So uh, it only took a day or two, and uh, he got fired, and we had him on the phone, and we said, do you have any last words? And he said, your mom's box. And that's been our little, th you know, thing ever since. I think people are lying here. New York Times crossword clue was marshmallow stuffed shock jock. Easy. I don't think that's the one. And uh, <laughs> this guy is saying it's 12 across skateboarder and germaphobe DJs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we'll we'll see if uh, that's true or not. 11 down, pioneers of satellite radio. That's, no. That's right, the pioneers of satellite radio. And I'm not changing my name to Anthony Andrew Ridgely Cumia. Name two shock jocks that did not get a nose job. Ooh. Hmm. There you go. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that was in the paper today. Let's say hi to Tim in New Jersey. Tim, what's up? Hey, good morning, boys. How are you? Happy birthday, Billy. Thank you. I want to let you guys know you got to look in the New York Times. Uh, I think it's January 26th through 28th. Oh, no. Those are the dates that Bill Burr is going to be at the Stress Factory in New Brunswick. Wow. Yeah, there we go. Bravo, Thank you. Tim. Very well, nice, All right, covert Tim. plug under the guise of helping us out. A cheap plug is thrown in. It's going to be a good show. Let's <laughs> start off nice, yeah, right? I like, I like your listeners. Bill likes the show right yeah, now. Loves nice. the listeners. We're waiting for some audio to come in. we got to get the uh, Mayor Nagin's yeah. uh, comment about Chocolate City. We well, we played well, we did it the yesterday. original one, but now he's trying to explain himself. Do we have the original clip again? Gain and own you. Gotta find Iraq? the original. Huh? Iraq. Iraq. It, uh, yeah, yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. You gotta play that Parliament song underneath the speech, man. Yeah, it fits. Well, now he's trying to explain what he meant because it, it didn't look good. He, he was talking to a bunch of black people uh, during uh, MLK Day, giving a speech, and he looks out into a sea of black faces. And I guess he got caught up in the moment and didn't think Whitey was there <laughs> or going to like look. Because some black people do that. Black leaders do that. Farrakhan's done it a few times. Jesse, they get caught up in that moment, the sea of blackness. And they think it's <laughs> and just these some. crackers. Yeah. The crackers. Oh, and they let their black out. And then all of a sudden the white <laughs> reporters come and go, what did you mean when you said cracker ass cracker? And then, then they start going, well, did you look on the uh, refreshment table? We uh, had uh, saltines. Ritz. Yes, some Ritz. A variety. A uh, melting pot, if you will, of crackers. And you know, black people, we, we attach the suffix ass to a lot of stuff. Right. Broke ass. Broke ass. I could use some prime rib ass prime rib. Yes. Right now. See, that's how I would speak. He tried he learned so some hard. Slang. A little slang. He got caught up in the moment is what happened. It was MLK oh, Day. His, his, yeah, it's MLK Day. You're talking all black people. All black You people. were saying this is this is a black city. Right. Black and city. And I gotta admit, I've been there and I would agree to I would agree with it. Is. I, oh, it's I think beyond it, black. it's a voodoo city. Oh. It is. Watch, watch your tongue, lest Why? somebody stick a pin through a doll of a bilber. And, and do uh, what? Make my life any shittier? <laughs> <laughs> You'd well, welcome I'm, a voodoo I'm doll. Already, I'm already on the mat. I mean, what are you, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I welcome a voodoo doll. Prop my head up off the floor. <laughs> well, I, I think one of the problems is uh, some of the statistics that are coming in Opie, in uh, New Orleans. Uh, it seems a lot of the uh, people had to evacuate. Obviously, we all remember that, the Hurricane Katrina. And uh, a lot of the damaged areas were in the black areas. Now, a lot of the black people aren't coming back. They're staying where they relocated. And a lot of the white people are coming back. So it's kind of changing the percentage of black to white in New Orleans. And he is alarmed by that, wants it to remain a predominantly black city because he New Orleans... he wants to stay in office. He wants to stay in office. Oddly enough... He was a he ran a a, a cable company, mm -hmm. much like our own Hugh Panera. Oh wow! Back Look at in that. the old days, and uh, he's a, a novice to politics. Just got into it in 2002 and was elected um, because of the white vote. A lot of white people voted for this guy, 
Uh, so he's a little worried about the next election that what he said kind of put off his constituency. Which his was opponent white. must have been ah. his opponent must have been real oh, dark. Jesus <laughs> Christ! His, his opponent must have been purple. Who was it? Uh, what's his face over there from uh, D.C. years ago? What was his name? Marion Barry. May have Marion Barry. <laughs> Who was uh, caught recently uh, smoking a little of, of uh, I don't know, something. Are you kidding again yeah, still? He, yeah, he got caught with something uh, very recently. Don't you reach an age where you just say, I, 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 maybe I shouldn't do crack anymore? Or you, you push through to the other side where you just fucking kill it. You just owe Yeah. Them. You can't have a political career and occasionally, smoke crack. Occasionally. An occasional. <laughs> an occasional politician. Crack smoker. An occasional crack smoker. Oh. So he got... Uh, He's a little upset with the fact that uh, uh, New Orleans, uh, the, the demographic could change, and there could be more white people than black people. So he says it should stay a chocolate city. Yeah, we got the original uh, thing he said here, finally. And then we got what he's trying to say now. And today. then what he told a reporter that to try to uh, uh, smooth this over is re goddamn ridiculous. ridiculous. He just made it much worse. But here's the original thing the mayor of New Orleans said. As we think about rebuilding New Orleans, surely God is mad at America. He's sending hurricane after hurricane after hurricane. And is destroying and putting stress on this country. Surely he's not approval of us being in Iraq under false pretenses. But surely... He is upset at black America also. Wow. We're not taking care of ourselves. We're not taking care of our women. And we're not taking care of our children. When you have a community where 70% of its children are being born to one parent. We as black people, it's time. It's time for us to come together. It's time for us to rebuild a New Orleans, the one that should be a chocolate New Orleans. And I don't care what come people on, are saying, on. uptown or wherever they are. This city will be chocolate at the end of the day. Clap this city will be a majority African-American city. Right there. It's the way God wants it to be. Really? You can't have New Orleans no other way. It wouldn't be New Orleans. He turned his black way up for that speech, oh, too. Oh, yeah. He t that is not the way he talked to George Bush. That is not the yeah. way he was talking to the governor. That's not how he got the white vote. That is not how he got the white vote on his campaign ads. It wasn't like, this by the end of the day will be a chocolate city. Oh, that's the guy I want to yeah, vote for. There we My go. word, this yeah. is the man I want representing me. And he said he doesn't care what they think. Uptown, this will be an African-American yeah. city. And, and there's no chocolate. It cannot be. Uh, uh, he, he can't make excuses as to why he said that because he then said African-American. We it's know what like he meant. Detroit. He better be careful. Yeah, yeah. We know what you, he you meant. You need crackers in a of city. Of course. It's so <laughs> <laughs> Cracker must be in the inner city. At some point, you you need you do you do need us. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, what a reporter got a hold of him now. <laughs> so now a reporter has a cracker. Cracker reporter comes up to him uh, and and asked him what he meant by chocolate city. Yeah. And his uh, his comeback to this probably one of the most ridiculous excuses I've heard uh, a politician utter. All right, check it out. Let's talk about the comments that you made uh, about um, uh, being a chocolate city and how God wants it that way. Do you think that's a bit divisive, though, on MLK Day? Do you know anything about chocolate? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Do you know anything about chocolate? How do you make chocolate? You take dark chocolate, you mix it with white milk, and it becomes a, a delicious drink. That's but, the chocolate I'm talking about. The mayor says his comments refer to a racially diverse city made up of many different kinds of people. New Orleans was a chocolate city before Katrina. It's going to be a chocolate city after. How is that divisive? It's white and black working together, coming together, and making something special. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to have... A nice. milk white city. <laughs> nice backstory. And then yeah. the next day, be like, you ever see where milk comes from? See milk? Yeah, you ever seen a black cow? 
Well, that's what I'm talking about. That's right. You that's ever, exactly you ever hear, what I'm talking about. You ever hear the term, how now, brown cow? Yes. <laughs> the brown cow gives us the white milk. What I mean is... Exactly. Uh, I don't black, think I could have been white. any clearer with that example. <laughs> how, you know how they make chocolate? I'm asking you. Do you know how? And sometimes there is that, I love it, the uh, the crackle. You ever have a Hershey crackle? <laughs> it's got rice in it. We want the goddamn Orientals in here, too. Well, we going to have a yellow city. <laughs> yellow city from here on out. Now, let's say I'm talking to Almond Joy. <laughs> now, we got a peanut, which represents the South, and coconut, which I guess some Hawaiians are moving or some shit. <laughs> but... <laughs> But I like I like when a reporter asks some, somebody a question and then they actually will fire a question back at him and uh -huh. you just hear the reporter yeah. like dares in the in the eyes in the yeah, headlights yeah. doesn't even know how to respond. No, he's like, well, do you know what's in? You know what? You ever had chocolate? Or you know what chocolate? I'm asking you. And then he's sitting there going, uh, have I ever fucked a black girl? Uh, it's right. like, what, about, what does he mean by that? Well, yeah. Texas is very interested in what the mayor has to say. We got Bob. Sure. Oh, we just lost Bob from Texas. Oh, no. He wanted to basically uh, tell the mayor of New Orleans to get all all his uh, chocolate people out of Texas. <laughs> oh, is, is he upset with the chocolate export <laughs> yeah. to Texas? Yes, he is. is uh, New Orleans has been uh, their number one export. Chocolate. A little known fact, uh, Texas doesn't like chocolate. No. Texas is much more of a vanilla state. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I think that they're going to make a lot of donations to that <laughs> chocolate city. Anyway. Up, <laughs> Here's, uh, we got to gather up all the chocolate and send it to New Orleans. we got to get that chocolate back to New Orleans. Here's the mayor apologizing for what he had to say about the Chocolate City thing. All right. And I said some things that were totally inappropriate. And I need to be more sensitive and more aware of what I'm saying. And I want everybody to be welcome in New Orleans. Black, white, Hispanic, Asian, everyone. Black, everyone. Everyone. When are people going to realize this guy's a kook? He lost his mind. He was a little crazy beforehand, but that sta that city is a little crazy, yeah. right? So he kind of fits in. You know, it's one of those cities that probably run themselves. You know, the mayor's kind of that figurehead. He's That's on one the of the floor. scariest cities I've, other than Detroit I've ever been to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, we were there. I feel like any time I went there, when you're on Bourbon Street, you're like, as long as I stay on this street right, right. with all these people, I'm in the herd. But if I go five feet this way or that way, I'm going to have like a fucking chicken foot in my neck. Yeah. <laughs> Just, You're that zebra yeah. that went off oh, to yeah. stay at the water hole a little oh, yeah. too long. Just waiting in the bushes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's totally the vibe. You just stay in that. Show your tits. Stay area. in the herd. You'll yeah. be fine. Herd in mentality. The herd. So agree with you. <laughs> I think the mayor's just looking for another hit. <clears throat> he got all that attention when Katrina came through. He got, yes, he, he did. He got all the cameras in his face. He liked that attention. He uh -huh. liked it, did it. And he liked it, did it. And now uh, and now he's just trying to keep that going. I don't think this is a good way to keep it going. Obviously. I think during election time. I don't know when he's up for the election. 2002. What are they? Got six-year terms over there? Uh, who knows? So he's probably... I like hearing speeches like that from black people. Because it's like, see, yeah. you're just like us. Right. Yeah. You give right. a shit about your own people. Your it's, own It's peeps. natural. And he's had some valid uh, points about uh, uh, the black community yeah. in New Orleans. You know, there's a lot of people having uh, children being raised by uh, the moms or grandmoms. 70%. A lot of violence, a lot of black on black crime. 70% don't have moms? a papa. The moms. The moms. You blacken it up for Trying to blacken it up. There you go. Know. That's how he said it. The moms. The moms. He's mom. We have one more clip here. I guess it's uh, a. Women on Street React. Let's listen to this. And I feel like what he said was very self-serving. I think it serves his own purposes, but it, you know, it doesn't do anything to help us. Others appreciated the candor. And I think that that was his way. Not, not, I don't know if it was the best way, but that was, I think that was his way of letting uh, everyone know that um, the city is not going to abandon the, uh, the black population. Mm. Yeah, but the black population is abandoning you. Yeah. They don't want to be there. And uh, here, I need some footnotes, as Patrice says, some footnotes added to this. All right. Um, it is not really, I don't think, the the cogs, the machine that makes New Orleans work. I don't think those are the people that really aren't coming back. 
I think it's a, a lot of the displaced, impoverished people. Probably the can't afford to society to get that. in New Orleans. And I think the city is probably better off if those people that perhaps weren't contributing, regardless of their race, Phil. <laughs> he fucks a fine fucking line. That, no no that, shit. That perhaps it is better for the city if those people stay away from New Orleans, and it would be easier for New Orleans to rebuild. Anthony walks a tightrope. This is the exact with, with with a real... opposite speech. Yeah, yeah right between, right between you, two skyscrapers. Yeah. You're going to have a reporter coming up to you the next day. So what did you mean by that? Right. What did you mean? Yeah, well, by asking mean? me the question. Well, I'm, a, what I'm, I mean I'm asking you the question. But see, here's the difference. Reporters can't find him. No one can find him. Oh, that's right. He's isolated. That's right. That's why yes. he can say what he, he said. 13. Hey, a lot of people in New Orleans, uh, we're getting info here. Let's go to this guy in New Orleans. There's no name here. All right. Guy with no name from New Orleans. What's up? Hey, how you guys doing? Hi, man. Hey. Hey, the, uh, the ultimate truth is it's, it's not the chocolate New Orleans is being rebuilt. It's the Mexican New Orleans. Why? There's a more... lot of... I'm sorry? More uh, Mexicans down there? They've, uh, you know, there's, you'll see more uh, Mexican uh, labor right now in New Orleans than you will really of any other class. Uh, Mexicans. You know, they, they work hard. They work cheap. Uh, they'll, you know, their, their accommodations, which they require, are, are pretty light. They really don't require a lot. Uh, the office I work in, we've got four of them living upstairs. Wow. Okay. Mexicans right, in New Orleans. Who knew? There you have it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> That's funny. They, they really don't require a lot. Isn't that a complete uh, lack of a negotiation position? Yeah, absolutely. I would like better quarters. Uh, I'm going to call immigration. All right, this is nice. <laughs> this, <laughs> this works, nice. For, this works me. for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could share mm -hmm. six. We could have six in a bed, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> These Mexicans are real easy going. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Good, <laughs> good observation, Bill. <laughs> I want New Orleans. To be Taco City. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's... You're going to be seeing bigger hats. That's an ongoing story. And ain't talking to the ones that lean to the side. <laughs> He's uh, one of our faves, that, uh, that mayor down there, and how he speaks. Um, yeah. Something I wanted to bring to the show today. Ooh. There was this horrific thing that happened to this girl here in New York City. Will she get justice? The parents, you know, another one of these uh, child abuse cases. Every so often this happens. A uh, little kid slips through the cracks of the... Uh, uh, government agencies that are put in place to protect them. And um, even though they've been checked on and complained about and uh, social services goes over and checks it out, something happens and they wind up getting beaten to death. Yeah, and the parents were Every living... once in a while, two monsters fuck. Yeah. And they have a child. <laughs> is that what it is? Yes. Two that... monsters. <laughs> yes. I don't know how the fuck you could do something. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. I, the parents were living very, very well, and this kid was just uh, tied to chairs. And how old is? And she had kid? to poop in like a, a cat box, and just, just dunking her in like uh, ice shit, cold bath freezing water. cold water, and then smacking her around. Yeah, I mean, the Al Qaeda is getting treated better than that. Uh, I know, Cuba. like that. Yeah, hostages. But, what? How old was was this uh, girl? Because uh, she looks like, like she's seven or eight or in her thirties, like about seven or eight years old. She looks like she's in her thirties. Oh fuck, man! If you're gonna be pooping in a cat box and getting your face dunked in ice water, you're gonna age I, real fast. I know. She, that's just it. It's like she you're gonna aged real so fucking quickly. Fast. Like progeria by proxy, they beat progeria into her. And there'll be somebody defending this uh, couple, and you know, and there'll still be people out there that don't get the death penalty and uh, whatever. Yeah, that's, that's the, wo the woman will get out of it. Huh? The yeah. woman, the woman always. Yeah, she'll, she'll say she had no. I, I was just scared. <laughs> I, was scared I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I had an inability to make a phone call. <laughs> I'm just a girl. You're so right, man. That's what happens. They do it all the time. Uh, head and nuts. Fucking girls stay with mob uh, <coughs> husbands. They know what the fuck he's doing. Mm -hmm. yep. He's out there murdering people, and they're wearing the furs. And then when the FBI shows up, I thought he worked at a bakery. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. I thought people really loved his donuts. Remember Hedda Nussbaum? She was the one with Joel Steinberg. Uh, uh -uh. They they had they were a couple of monsters and uh, killed their little child uh, years ago. And uh, she said just that. I was abused. I couldn't make a phone call. And she knew everything that was going on. Totally. And she was beat. She looked like fucking she, like Jake LaMotta. Yeah. Just her nose was on the side of her face, big cauliflower ears. Her eyes were all like scarred up. Who he, the kid was? No, the uh, the the wife oh of this God. Joel Steinberg guy. This guy was just an angry man. 
beat the shit out of her and the kid. And uh, this is pretty much the highest profile one of these we've seen since then. Yeah, so, uh, well, what I want to bring to the attention of the show today, so they had the funeral, and a lot of people that had no idea who this uh, this girl was went to the funeral, right? And so oh, they're, yeah. So they're interviewing these people on TV this morning, and some mom, I mean, I'm not a parent, but uh, I, I can't imagine how this is a good thing to do to your child. Uh, some mom brings her little kid to the funeral. And then the news yeah. now is... And the uh, kid didn't even know the other kid. No, I had no <laughs> clue, no. no connection. It was just like a lot of people feel like they need to go to this uh, this wake. So they're going there, you know, to support the, the, the child, whatever. So the mom brings this little kid to the wake. And the little kid is horrified. And now the news is interviewing this little girl that can't be much older than this girl. Maybe... Uh, actually, I think she's younger. She's got to be like six or seven. Just crying her eyes out on the news. Child abuse. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking... What parent would bring their little kid to a funeral like this? Complete child abuse, bringing this kid. Why would you subject your, your child to that type of sorrow when you really don't need to? Especially uh, that when you don't have any connection to this kid whatsoever. Yeah, images that are going to stick in this kid's head. Especially if you want your kid to have a childhood. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe not have to look at the horrors. The horrors of a, a beating death of a child. Yeah. That, you know, <laughs> well, look at this. Well, uh, it is a horrible, horrible thing, but the, the, the truth of the matter is it doesn't happen every day. Kids get abused. I'm not saying that or making light of it or anything, but the, you don't. this isn't something you got to show your kid because it's happening all around you on a daily basis, and right. you have to train them to get used to it. Right. This is going to scar. Uh, you can have nightmares. This is going to scar a kid. You know, and the next time this kid is playing PlayStation, the mom goes, you know, turn off the game and do your schoolwork. I think this kid's going to listen. <laughs> or puts the kid in the high chair and puts that tray in front of him. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> remember Miss Mary? Do you, do you remember what she looked like laying in her coffin? Okay, clean up your room now. <laughs> clean up your room. Clean up your room. Uh, she's going to be a perfect kid now. I guess uh, maybe the mom was on to something. <laughs> we'll clean your room and you won't be beaten to death. Mommy, don't be me. Hold me under the water. Well, we can't even do this justice. Here's the clip, man. Little kid visiting Way crying her face off. Has no connection yeah. to this little girl. The wakes for little Nick Marie are any indication of how her funeral will be. Hundreds of people are expected here at St. Mary's Church for the services at 9 a.m. While the child's mother and stepfather sit in jail, indicted by a grand jury, people old and young are mourning the death of the child. I wanted to come see her because her story touched me. And I felt so bad. That wasn't right for what her father did. Young children overcome with emotion made up some of the hundreds of mourners paying their final respects to seven-year-old Nix Muddy Brown. It's a tragedy. It's something that shouldn't happen to her because she had her whole life ahead of her. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a little, little rehearsed because her story touched me. A little rehearsed. Look at you. <laughs> I'm just a saying that. Story to, yeah, l let me hear her again. That's Is there any way to get to her? That's what I woke up to this morning, by the way. First thing, turn on the TV with my cup of coffee, and I see this little girl crying her eyes out because she had to go to a wake. The wakes for little Nick's Marie are any indication of how her funeral will be. Hundreds of people are expected here at St. Mary's Church for the services at 9 a.m. While the child's mother and stepfather sit in jail, indicted by a grand jury, people old and young are mourning the death of the child. I wanted to come see her because her story touched me, and I felt so bad. That wasn't right for what her father did. Young children over... <laughs> it's, uh, it's her story touched me. It's horrific, man. I, it's awful. The fucking news sucks so this bad. Is such a tragedy, and I believe is, you know, child services should have been more involved in this case. <laughs> For what he did to her, I mean, allegedly did to her. Allegedly did. This is it's what happened. The outrage. The mom wanted to get the kid on TV. 
Yeah. Oh, she wanted to get on TV, so she coached her and just said, look, the reason why you came here is because the story touched you. Say it. Yeah. The reason why I came here is because the story touched me. And then she brought it down there, and the, the little kid actually saw a dead little kid. Now she's freaking the fuck out <laughs> trying to recite <laughs> trying my to mother's her so, I yeah. wanted to come down here because the story touched me. Did I say it right, Mommy? I want to go home. <laughs> I want to come down here because Daddy touched me. The story touched yeah. me. The story told <laughs> shit. <laughs> so there you have it. That's yeah. just a horrific way to start your day. Little Nick Smart. My Marie. Yes. All right. And then uh, the other big thing happened this morning. American Idol starred last night, huh? Yes, it did. Oh. And every year I I watch American Idol for, uh, you remember last year, for the first two or three weeks. And then yeah, I'm, you watch the freak show. And, and then, then I'm then, out. And then you punch I'm out. I'm so out. Yeah, I, I watch the whole thing. When it comes down to actual talent and uh, yeah. who cares. Who I you, like seeing the goofballs up there just making fools of themselves. I stick through it for the whole thing. I oh. can barely, I, I watch it, but oh. I, I just can't. They changed the crossword, by the way. What do you mean? They now include you. It used to be a shock jock. Uh, no. Club. This is the New York Times. Uh, we'll get back to American Idol in a second. New York Times, what day? January 18th, today. Okay. Uh, New York Times crossword puzzle, 33 across, radios, blank, and Anthony show. Oh. Don't have to guess at me. 33 across. I'm right there in the print. Yours has to be scrawled out by someone's hand. Uh, man, cow, and Anthony. Yeah, no. we we get it, Howard. Um, We're, everyone's a clone of you. We <laughs> <get it. laughs> for uh, once, for once, I will not be copying you in the wow. Getting a nose job, that's you faggot. The, see now, you, you. This is old hat to you. Let me see that. This yeah. is old hat to you. It used to. The clue used to be like um, radio shock jock. That's all yeah. it was. And uh, look at that. Isn't that cool? That's New York Times crossword puzzle, What is the friend. clue again? It's Radio's Blank and Anthony Show. Hmm. Oh. Could that be? Ron. How pissed off Could is be. Ron Howard? Ron Howard's had He that. was the OP guy forever. Forever in the crossword puzzle. I'm sure he's happy to let that go. I <laughs> give <laughs> <laughs> Well, someday. Yeah. Directed a couple of successful features. Yeah. Got yeah. an Oscar somewhere in there, doesn't he? Someday. Yeah, um, maybe a couple. Opie. Someday yeah. I'm looking forward to letting that go, too. Trust me. <laughs> All right. When are you better. working on Oscar-winning films? Because that's the only way, the only reason they're not still calling Ron Howard Opie. And they still do occasionally. Maybe I'll discover something. You, what are you looking for? Uh, I don't know yet. you got, you got to give it up. Ron Howard stepped out from underneath, like, just two of the geekiest characters ever, Opie and right, Richie, Richie Cunningham. Cunningham. Cunningham right. And then he decided... It's like two or two generations of people just knowing you as some child star sh or teen idol. Yeah. He wasn't a teen idol. No. There's never been a red teen, teen idol. Teen idol. He started losing Whatever. his hair at 17. How could you be a teen idol? Really? <laughs> Holy crap, he had the comb over on Happy Days. On ha toward the end of Happy Days. <laughs> you didn't even notice... That guy, Total comb that over guy on was losing his hair at 17 years old. No greater comb over, though, than uh, Meathead on All in the Family. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Toward the end of that one, they had that hair in place and, and just cemented there. And from any angle, it was covered. But right. you could see a part starting behind his ear and it just kind of wrapped around the top of his head. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Ron yeah, Howard's done a few with things. The part is like an like eighth of an inch above one ear. Above the ear. And I saw the weirdest comb over ever in uh, Colorado. This guy had brushed the hair from the back. Oh, yeah, that's the new one. Forward. And then, it, like, it had to be a foot long of hair. Yeah. All the way. And then cut, like, bangs yeah. out of it. Yeah, that's the new one. The oddest thing. And then he, he uh, uh, swept part of it to the side. Like, underneath it went to the side. And he actually cut a sideburn out of the hair that was hanging over. <laughs> and then the rest went over the top, and he cut bangs. Uh, like, funny. Wow. Just, just get a... W uh, just, just, just let it go. It. Just, just let, let it go. go. What, just why shave only? it. I mean, to, I, what do you think he did for a job where it was just so... His looks were so imperative in, in Wyoming. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's for the chicks. Uh, but they're looking going, that is ridiculous. 
I don't know. You just gotta let it go. I'm just, I'm just hoping if mine, uh, you know, really starts going, that I don't have any ridiculous like moles or anything. I gotta like cover up with a fucking <laughs> comb over. That's the only thing I'm worried about. The Mr. Burns. Yeah, spots I'll let, on the... I'll let it go. But if all of a sudden there's some whacked out fucking tumor thing growing, I'm gonna have to cover that up. Like, how it. did Gorbachev feel when he started going bald? Oh, I know. Like, you know, he just had a full head of hair, and right. he starts going bald, and goes, oh, "I'm going bald," and then he looks and goes. I have a fucking, <laughs> I, I just got this, this friggin' overhead view of, of a pool Cuba. on my head. A map of Cuba? Yeah, a map of Cuba is falling off of my head. That's like, oh, <laughs> great, it's not bad enough, I'm losing my hair. Yeah, no one would have known if you didn't go bald, you I know? also have a grape juice stain on my head. <laughs> That's what it is, grape juice. <laughs> great. <laughs> Fuck, thank you, God. All right, we'll take our first break. Um, we're getting the American Idol stuff from last night. All the freaks? Yeah, there's always the freaks on the first episode. We'll talk about that. Uh, it had plenty of freaks. Two uh, hours from here. Yeah, it was it was fun. It was fun to watch. Yeah. Um, you know what though? I told you guys in the office because everyone's like, "You see American Idol?" I'm like, "Yeah, I took a peek," but there were no celebrities involved. I'm all about celebrity. You gotta get off the celebrities every so often, and the judges. Come on, you VH1 has Abdul, come up with that term. Seeing how many drugs she's done. And no, the, she's got, she's got, she's clear-eyed this uh, year, unfortunately. So it's not as much they, fun. They, they told her. They must have told her. Look, it's you not get as off much this. fun. You can tell that she's uh, clean and sober. She was slurring, and she was all like, "I think you're one of the best." Singers and performance you've had on the show in <laughs> many years, and, and the other two are looking like, oh, oh boy, fuck. oh boy, and you're cringing like, oh my god, I can't believe she's this gone on some type of how, dope. How, how couldn't you believe it? She had a number one album, yeah, years ago. Now she doesn't have shit. Now she's sitting in the bowels of fucking uh, Soldier Field. Let me tell you something. Listening to shitheads, she could have a worse career than being one of Wait the three people on American Idol. She's bigger now than when she had all those hits. American Idol is massive. It's so huge. It, it's she's absolutely bigger now than when she was in her heyday, uh, you know, dancing with those fucking animated animals. Straight up, right, Straight Iraq? up. Straight up. Look, if opposites I, I, I track. opposites <laughs> attract. <laughs> Fact. All right. Well, if, if you if you were making like ten times what you're making now. And you had to sit and listen to a amateurs try to become radio DJs. You wouldn't fucking have to do drugs to sit through that shit. All right. But you know what? Now, Matt. just made a great point. <laughs> but I'm also acting like she was a great singer, but she wasn't. No, I think it's all. Hey. I think it's all about the fame. How she can likes you the sit fact here? She's uh, being talked about all over America. And Badmouth, one of Iraq's favorite uh, musicians. Please. All right. Let's. Uh, I'm not. Let's not play Paul Abdul. No. Oh, Jesus. Look, his head's going. <laughs> did you? Did you? Did that song instantly send like a chill up your spine when you heard it? Like, like this is just a brand new kind of music. <laughs> a brand new kind of music. This is gonna take off. What? What is it about Paula Abdul that just, just gets your heart a racing? Nothing. 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 You admitted you used to like it. Yep. Uh, her. No, I admitted that I knew the music when we were talking about it. I wasn't a big Paula Abdul fan. Well, you have to be. It's your theme music. Yeah, I wouldn't think choice, that. But... Are you saying that people around here aren't exactly honest? <laughs> I do. I bring nothing to the table. <laughs> Thanks. I bring nothing to the table. I bring <laughs> nothing to the table. <laughs> I bring nothing to the table. <laughs> I bring nothing to the table. <laughs> oh, Anthony, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> we have that clip now. That's great. I bring nothing to the table. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to break because uh, the last three minutes were such exciting radio. We need to take a break <laughs> and regroup. Holy shit. Uh, in honor of the mayor of New Orleans talking about Chocolate City. Yeah. Uh, we got a Stephen Lynch song that I guess will be appropriate right now. Oh, you got it? Dirk's going to play it? All right, Dirk. You're checking out the Open Anthony program on XM Satellite Radio on this fine whip em out Wednesday. Make sure you get the WOW bumper stickers on your car if you want to see some boobs. Girls will flash you if they see the WOW. Uh, you can get the WOW stickers by going to opianthony.com. We used to give out the address, but I think we went to a P.O. Box thing. Oh, we did. And I don't know the P.O. Box, so sorry. More Maybe secure that, that way. That. More secure that way, gentlemen. P.O. Box. It's the way to go, right? Less danger of infiltration into the <laughs> studio habitat. <laughs> studio lair. Lair, 
into the dojo. Now he, like, guards the bathroom. It's like, dude. I enjoy the extra uh, security. Why? Are you kidding? Are you making a bit? He opens up the door. It's, it's a little creepy. Little I can take karate a... Karate kick, the door opens up. Hey, what if some fuck is in there? I could take a leak by myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for the help. I like. First of all, I enjoy the fact that I don't got to go searching for the goddamn key. He's right there with the key, and that door opens up. Boom, I'm in. If you anything really... I've learned about him is he, Anthony, is pro-security. Yes, Pro security. That's me. <laughs> right. Never have enough guns. Right. Sabers. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate the fact that you cracked that door open uh, when we got to take a leak. It's got the key. It's always dressed like Serpico. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Serpico has drug bus on the side. <laughs> Jesus. He really is. <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen. What's up, Paul? Good morning, Master Paul. All right. Could you please debrief us? Well, I just wanted to make sure no one's in the bathroom, and that's why I follow you there. Yeah. See, he goes in, he checks. There could be some, uh, you don't know, shady people. Ah, oh, please. That and by shady, I mean, you know. A lot of paranoid literally. people around here. <laughs> shady. <laughs> that door isn't locked all the time, so you want to make sure that, you know, no one slips in. Yeah, if you really want to protect us, how about you figure out, uh, how about you beat up the air conditioning guy? Whoever decides that the air conditioning needs to be on at 6 in the morning. Should be a meat locker in here uh, in the morning. Bill uh, arrived and Anthony was in a uh, a massive winter coat at a, a <laughs> preparing for the radio on. show. I like Everest climbing gear. On. Yeah, I thought That's you just how... got here. Yeah, yeah, I, it's it's a heavy, heavy jacket because it's three hoodies crazy. underneath. Yeah, three hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Paul. Yeah, we'll um, take care of the air conditioning guy if you want. Yeah. How's the dojo? Fantastic. Very good. Yeah. Congrats on that. We're on the seventh week, and we have about uh, 80 students. 80 people learning how to kill people with sticks and rubber bands. Knives. Knives. You actually have knife fighting uh, classes? Oh, yes. Yeah. Full contact. Full contact knife fight. So are you throwing dead bodies out the back door? <laughs> Well, we don't want to do that because then we'll lose our student oh, okay. count. You know okay. what he did wrong in that little uh, encounter? <laughs> <laughs> Take this piece of crap out back. Yeah, that's his kidney. You... Bag him and tag him, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> no, we use rubber knives so no one uh, no one gets hurt. Rubber knives, and it's all like, you know, if somebody attacks you from the front or from the back, and you'll pretty much train him on how to uh, kick some ass with a knife. Exactly. You go one against one, you go two against one, three against one, four against three one. Three guys with knives against one guy, and you could you have kind of a shot? Knife, yeah. Set, ten against one. Ten against one. Wait, in real life we're talking. Ten against one. Ten guys come is, at you. Is this one of those attacks like in the karate movies where everybody waits their turn? One at a time to, to watch their buddy get their ass handed to him, and then the next guy comes in. <laughs> You're like number eight going, huh? I don't know about oh, this. Oh, God, I hope someone kills him before I got to go yeah. in. Stupid people. Why didn't, Why wouldn't they all go on one? Just all at once. All at once. Pound them. Ten, at, ten on one. No, there's no waiting. There's no waiting. If you no. really know how to use the knife, and uh, we're talking about people that have no idea what the knife is all about and the strengths, then uh, you can defend yourself I'm thinking, is people. it some kind of maybe backhanded grip and you got to spin and take out as many of them coming at you at once? Well, you use the upper part of the knife, um, the the tip, because that's your longest weapon. Further away. Exactly. You can turn around. That's a uh, uh, an ice pick grip. That's for inside fighting. But the, uh, the, the main grip is the saber grip, just like fencing. Right. So you're holding the knife. Ten exactly. guys charge you. Who do you take out first? Well, you cut the nearest thing that is in front of you like a hand. So the closest thing the that you win that gets cut. Exactly. Close the hand, uh, the the head. Uh if somebody kicks kicks you, you you cut the ankle. Yeah. And if someone throws a punch, you cut the wrist or the fist. Homeland Security isn't checking you out or anything, are they? But if 10 <laughs> like guys some kind of Al Qaeda all, training ten, 10 guys are surrounding you. Yeah. And they all jump on you. Well, once again, this isn't, you know, we're not talking a Bruce Lee movie. You want to try to keep something behind you like a wall. And anytime somebody comes towards you, you have to be able to hit as quickly as you can. If, if someone, if you really don't know how to use a knife and someone is skilled in using a knife, then what can happen is, is you will disable every, every single person there. So you're, you're, you're talking about 10 guys attack you and you're the only one with a knife. No, they could no, have a knife. They could have knives too. 
Then they gotta have Down syndrome. That's it. Drooling. Wow. I, I guess it, I guess it's not a guarantee that oh. you're gonna come out of this. <laughs> Nothing's guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. But you you are teaching to give you the best possible chance of getting out of that situation. Right. And then when oh. you have yeah. ten people that are trained and one person that's trained, your skill just reaches another level. Now you're talking about when you go on the street, most of these people will use the uh, um, West Side Story technique where they throw the knife from side to side. Do people still do that? Yeah. And do they sing and dance during it? Because that, I think, would be a detriment to your um, assault if you're going... Or maybe they think you're crazy. That could help then. Okay. You start singing. like maybe Any they song and dance down at the dojo? Yeah, no, they think you're a former Broadway singer. You just tell them they fired me because I have AIDS. <laughs> Come on, who Watch wants some? Watch them scatter. Who wants some? I got a Home knife. Alone, people. I got a knife and I'm cut. <laughs> Riff. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Is this the music you play down at the dojo during the night fight? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? I don't want her going out with no fucking... Because every Puerto Rican's a lousy chicken. Here come the jets like a... No? You ought to do that. All right, now throw the knife. Now do a pirouette. All right? Now uh, on your knees. Now all the guys behind you with knives, you got to be choreographed. Fossy hands, fossy hands, fossy hands. Grab your knife. <laughs> <laughs> well, Master Paul, uh, congrats on the dojo and continued success, man. Yes. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for the bathroom. All right, Paul. Uh, guards. Have a wonderful Guarding. day. All Thank right. you, sir. Later, man. <laughs> for all there he is. Go. Master Poe, everyone. He's a uh, killer, that guy. What happens to everyone's theme music when they come walking in and out? I don't know. I think we're slacking on everyone's we theme have that music. One. And I'm really, that goddamn Karate Kid song gets stuck in my head whenever it's played. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I know I got it. It's okay. Hey, uh, Anthony, we got lots to do. We're going to get into the American Idol stuff in a few minutes here. But first, uh, we have 30 new Emily Stern remixes. 30. Stop it. No way we have 30. And they just came in, and I don't know. Did Steve sort through them? He, yeah, the problem is Steve sorted through them, but I haven't sorted through them yet. There's so, So there were more than 30. Uh, These I, are the ones that made the cut? Well, what happens is Steve gets all of them. Then he brings in the ones he thinks are, oh, excuse me, okay for the show. And then I try to go through. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, all right, Frankie Blue. <laughs> I know. And then I try to go through the ones he he hands in. And then, uh, you know, finally we, we, you know, get them on the air. So you, you've gotten more than 30? Um, this morning, probably had to go through 60 of them. 60? Yeah. 60 yeah. came in. Easily. Easily, and oh, there had to be some really, really just bad. You ones. know, after after listening to sixty, though, you have no barometer anymore. You're just listening yeah. to Drek. I mean, there are there are a few that stand out that are that are edited Vagina. really well. That one, I I, I love that drop. I Vagina, Vagina, <laughs> my That's... tits are godly. But the ones that start out like you know like that haven't edited the beginning out, so you just hear buzz and. Uh, whatever the first line she says, yeah. I, I, I should have it memorized, but for some reason... Uh, maybe I, I maybe Howard should have been bringing his daughter to the park instead of going to get his nose done. Oh, how about you go to... How do you... I, I got a nose job, Rob. Anyway, so... Really? We, here's the question I asked today. What do we do? Do we try him out live on the show? Because there's going to be some crap. Look, we can do this. There is no need... We're not going to do all 30, play them all the way through. We'll do a few of them. I say we do them. American Idol style. All right. Like uh, I, I watched last night. Hey, that's a great so, idea. Some people came in. That is a great idea. And yeah. went, uh, uh, sang one line. The Statue of Liberty guy, favorite guy of the night. This guy comes in, and I don't know what show he's been watching over the past few years, but obviously it wasn't American Idol. Gimmicks don't work. They yeah. don't work. They instantly look at you like, all right, next. Right. So this guy's from New York, uh, this uh, gay man, of course. Every guy, it seems, is gay that comes into audition. I thought uh, he was just a freak. Yeah, that's a whole part of it. He seemed very effeminate. Look me just derailing your story. You're either, I'm yeah. sorry. I think You're either gay. gay or black. That's that's it. Yeah, yeah. He uh, well, there's that's plenty of gay black Idol's guys on about. that show too. He comes in dressed as the Statue of Liberty, and he walks in. He's got this big smile on his face, and uh, says his name. And he goes, "I'm from New York," like with a big smile, like that's why I'm I'm dressed like this. He, and he breaks into, uh, what song was it? New York, New York? Or... Starts yeah, yeah. He goes, spreading. Starts spreading the news. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
What? And his, his face just like went to sorrow. And he couldn't understand why it was over for him. Thank you. What? I think he got Thank halfway you. through spreading. Yes. Start, spread, thank you. Thank you. And he's sitting there with his fucking hand still up like yeah. the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, holding got a torch. torch in his hand. Gone. Bye. Thank you. I like the the guy. Well, I don't like him, but the guy that was dressed like the Swiss Miss girl. Oh, what a freak. <laughs> what a yeah, a guy ass. comes in with hairy legs. He's got pigtails. <laughs> he's in a dress. <laughs> What the fuck? What, what is he thinking? I don't know. And Simon um, really just doesn't care anymore. It's uh, it's great that uh, he's really laying into people. And he's done that the whole time the show's been on. But, I mean, now, more than ever, even marginal people, he's just telling, no, you have no talent. You shouldn't be here. Does he have to here. always wear a tight shirt so we can see his man tits yes, underneath it? Yes, he does. <laughs> well... Well, he's not taking a break. He's also doing the X Factor in in the UK, which is basically the the British version of American Idol. So he's right. uber bitter right now. He's yeah. just looking at crap and doesn't, you know. So he's yeah, he's had it. Yeah, exactly. Good. Speaking of man boobs, what was going on on uh, Pal Talk during the break? Sexy. I, apparently, there's some guy who's taking hormone treatment before his sex change operation. Is he a a fan of the show, or did he just sneak into the room? He's in the room. I don't know how we got they, this pal talk. Thing how we going find on. him? Yeah, it's pal talk. The room is Opie and Anthony live, and uh, people come in. And this guy was in there, and he's got uh, he's pre-op transsexual, and uh, I guess he's taking the hormones. He's got tits under his t-shirt, and uh, he had no pants on or underwear, no underwear, and uh, he, his his dick was the size of the first knuckle right. on your pinky. And he's touching it and twirling it and proud of it. And long blonde hair, too. Mm. Yeah, yeah. well, sexy. he's trying to keep Jesus, all the sexy Steve. parts out. Yeah. Long blonde hair. Well, I all we saw in the office was the, was the, was the short dick. We didn't see, and we didn't see the boobs. So I came in here with some yeah. long hair and the boobs. Don't call E-Rock the short dick. <laughs> 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 all right, so you want to do this American Idol style? Yeah, we'll play them. If they're not good... All right. Goodbye. Thank you. Next. I hope everyone knows the story. Howard Stern's daughter, Emily Stern, was in some really awful, off, off, off Broadway Jewish play. Yeah. And uh, Playing she, a Madonna-type character. She got yeah. naked at the end of the thing. Yeah. And Daddy uh, finally uh, did some parenting and, and yelled and screamed at her and told her, uh, you know, to quit the show, basically. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. Don't think so, there was some falling out with the director. No. So the listeners are uh, taking the audio, the little mm -hmm. audio that we do have. I think we only have like three minutes of it. It's up on opianthony.com, and they're making remixes. Yes, they are. And we haven't heard these yet. So this could either be a complete disaster or a lot of fun. We'll see what happens. The second one of them turns bad, it's over. Okay. This is Roman War Helmet. Right. Hey, Bela, are you sure you're ready for this? Oh, it's boner time! <laughs> Papa, don't preach. This sucks. Change it. I'm in trouble. Uh, we came to see naked girls. Papa, don't preach. Ah, stop! <laughs> hey, stop! <laughs> ah, stop! <laughs> Beaver, shut up. It doesn't get better than that. <laughs> Hey, butt it. I think I might throw up. Uh, you're sad, dude. Okay, here you go. Rich people are dumb. What a ripoff. All right. I like it. All right. He was in butthead, always funny, and uh, Roman Warhammer. fit. Bravo. <laughs> Took a different twist on the whole thing. Yeah. I like it. Very good. All right. Uh, the next one is Howard Stern doing a read for XM Satellite Radio. Oh. And then uh, I'm being told then uh, the audio's worked into the, the read, okay? You got AM, you got FM, and now it's time to get XM. XM is the number one satellite radio service, and it's doing for radio what cable did for TV, offering more choice than ever before with over 100 digital channels of music, news, sports, comedy, talk, XM's got a channel for just about every type of music, from hip-hop to album rock, heavy metal. They even have a channel for... Mother China. Now you can hear the music you love. Like... Papa, don't preach. 
speech? The way you want to hear it. Completely uncensored. No, just my tits. My tits are gone. My white, shiny legs, my vagina. My ass are all godly. And 100% commercial free. And in digital quality sound. Papa, don't freeze. All for less uh, than 10 bucks a month. It's easy to get more. XM. The XM SkyFi radio connects to your existing car or home stereo or snaps into a portable boom box that you can... All right, I get the idea there. Yeah, all right, very good. All right, all right. Good. That is just pretty much the end of the read I hear. Mm -hmm. That was Lee in Arkansas, his Emily Stern remix. This is, again, taking a different... Uh, tack on that one. I like that. So far, so good, right? So far, so good. Two for two? I bet they're all they're going gold. Huh? They're, they're going to Hollywood. They're going to Hollywood. They're going to Hollywood, dog. Let's, Up. let's go to this one. It's Steve in Cape Cod. Mm -hmm. His Emily Stern remix. Oh, yes. Oh, I believe. Oh, that's good. Oh, my yeah. Oh, I like it. Oh, where are the kids? Oh, call me Papa. Yeah, call me Papa. Papa. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, 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 this is so good. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, what the hell? What do you want? What do you think? What do you want? Oh, what's that? Oh, 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 you had come on my sheets, you little bitch. Take that. that. A surprise Steve oh, ending. Shit. Ramon, bring me a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it is. A surprise Steve ending. All right. Not bad. I kind of like that a one, actually. creepy. It was very creepy. Steve in Cape yeah, Cod, very good. Different. All right, the next one is from Nick T. My breasts. No. My white shining legs, my vagina. Stop it. My ass are all godly. Shut up. Breasts in Hebrew, Shad. No. God in Hebrew, Shad. You need a father figure like me. Shad in Hebrew also means my breasts. Shut up. God in my tits. Why? My tits inside God. My tits are godly. My tits are God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, that was all right. Nothing new there. No, no, nothing new there. Look at us that getting picky. fucking audio is driving me crazy. Which one? <laughs> that just the vagina. The, the, oh, the vagina. It's so hard to listen to because it's My so kids bad. My are God. <laughs> all right, Mav prick. Mav prick. <laughs> this is funny his. name. I'm so happy. Well, all right. God. New also. I like that. Combined the uh, the two. Yeah, that one was all over the place. All right. All right. Someone has to be the Simon here. We're just all Paula Abduls. Yeah, I kind of I kind of like, like that though because no one had uh, added the uh, tapes in. Right. Well, it was okay. Yeah. What do you think? Is he going to Hollywood? No. No. He's... Wow. No. Okay. No. He just made it. Uh, just, just missed. missed. It. Just missed. I mean. Sorry, dog. He can come back next year. Yeah. Practice all year. All right. The next one is... Thank uh, you, dog. The next one is from uh, Creative79. Yeah. Yeah. 
chicken stop fucker. That one. We get that one right. Yeah, chicken fucker. Now that's just uh, throwing recordings together. Right. Doesn't really fit. All right, we'll go right to the next one from Bam. Please, God, have his daughter bring home a black guy. Um, too, too, too long with the music and yeah, not enough. Uh, too much music, not enough uh, content. Yeah, you got to get to the point right away, right? Yeah. It's like I was, I was listening to a classic rock station. Yeah, okay. That's it. We'll move right on to chemistry. <laughs> chemistry is always good for one, right? Uh, sure. Let's check this out. The Emily Stern remix from Chemistry. Also in Ordnung. Why is it on me? Willst du dich amüsieren? Oh. Mit den zwei Tauben? Ja doch. In my vagina. Was it a scat film? Thank you. Oh, boy. Thank you. Yeah, I guess it was. Oh, boy. Wow. The wheels are falling off. We should off. have these people, like, crying in the lobby. I know I can edit. <laughs> Fuck those guys. You know something? <laughs> when I'm a star, you're going to be sorry. I don't Fuck need this the show. I don't need the Opie and Anthony They show. need me more than I need them. They're uh, crying in the I'm hallway. I'm a big editor in Hollywood. You'll see. we got to end on an up note. Yeah. The wheels are falling off. The right regulars now. are tanking. All right, let's go to Snapman. I'm going to have sex with you right now over the radio. Okay. Could you turn the treble all the way down and put the bass all the way up? Take your speaker. Lay it flat on the floor, and I want you to sort of straddle the speaker. Now, what I need you to do is put your private area over the woofer right up against it so you can feel me. Thank you. I get the concept. We get the concept. We don't have to sit through the whole thing. There's no surprises there. There is absolutely nothing. And the problem with that? It's rubbish. She was in one ear and he was in the other. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of people bitching going, I didn't hear, you know, I didn't. I only heard one track of that bit. That was awful. All right, we'll go to Rev. One of the worst audio tapes we've ever heard. <laughs> I'm so happy I didn't come all this in. Oh, God. And my father was also in heaven. Here you go. Oh. May the I thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> just too much music at the beginning. I don't know. Kind of doesn't grab yeah, you right I, away. I, I was, uh, but I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> no. Pa Paula, stop it. No. <laughs> No, it was being the desperate contestant. All right. I, 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 I thought you were being the let everyone through Paula. Oh, Paula. I have a little patience. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm allowing them to set it up. But no, they, all right. no. All it's right. got to grab you. It can, it, you can get a little lull in the middle, yeah. but it's got to open and close big, people. All right, here we go. Jeremy in Athens, Georgia. And the first shots have been fired in what could be the biggest on-air battle ever. Who's involved in this battle? We'll tell you at 11. The Emily Stern remix uh, contest starts today. Love me, Daddy. Love me, Daddy. My kids are gone, Lee. My kids are gone. This o is a This is your morning to rise above that. Questions have been raised as to Mr. Stern's parental involvement. What type of parenting are they doing that this child goes out and does this? You need a father figure like me. My child. Well, Howie, the, the same type you did. Some feel that Stern's outrage is too little, too late. And now he's finally getting a taste of thank his own you. medicine. Yeah. The guy okay, has thank done you. nothing thank but you. rag on the children of thank celebrities. Thank you. When they <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they keep going. Yeah. Keep <laughs> thank you. All right. We'll go. There's too much shit going on. It's yeah. Just... All right. We'll go to the next one. This is Alan in Toronto. Hi. You're on the air. Papa. Yeah. I'm so happy I'm in the Kamala Center. What, what, what kind of sick thing are you into? Papa. Yes. I'm in trouble, Jesus. What's the problem? Why are you calling me? 
Department of Social Services should be monitoring you very closely. You need a father figure like me. Papa, don't preach. What do you look like? My breasts, my white shining legs, my vagina, my ass are all godly. All right, you know what we're going to do to solve your problem? I'm going to have sex with you right now over the radio. Oh. 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 Jesus Christ. Oh. Doesn't that hurt? Oh. Are you a fan of anal sex? Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. My sperm are fantastic. I'm brilliant every day. Every single friggin' day. All right. That was good. I'm going to say yes. Yes, you're going to Hollywood. You're going to Hollywood. That was that one worked. All right, we have another one from Alan in Toronto. All right, short, sweet, funny. Very good. Different. Yeah, we'll do two more and we'll get the hell out of this. This is Mongo, his Emily Cern remix. Hi. Sexual. How old are you? I read in a magazine that you wish you would have lost your virginity to me. Is that really true? You need a father figure like me. Do you know what sex is? I'm an ugly man. I know this. You couldn't be physically attracted to me, could you? I'm so happy I didn't I've learned so much. I now meditate on another CIT. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Music was too, too, too uh, high and too high. drowning out yeah. everything else. And it's, I'm not convinced, the worst play that has ever been produced. <laughs> I've had to listen to that fucking clip. My vagina. One uh, more fucking time. That's all I, everyone's writing on instant feedback. Please no more. If I hear that my vagina uh, one more time, I'm yeah. gonna kill somebody. Uh, I think this I bit think has you, legs. I think you have milked <laughs> Emily's five lines for all they're worth. I think this has legs. Oh, one one guy likes it. Stern fucks his daughter on O and A. Brilliant. <laughs> so we like that. Uh, that was probably the the director of whatever. <laughs> These suck. Worse than those 70s compilations by uh, that suicidal Jew, Dickie Goodman. Enough, 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 enough. All right, here's the last one for today. It's Bill in Waterford, New York. My name's Tom Sizemore. Stick around. Have a good time. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I just came in some girl's whistle. I'm an eagle maniac. I'm going to keep my baby. A dick short. We just said to me it was a dick short. Wow. You fucking clickety clack bitch. <laughs> fucking clickety clack bitch. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's the half of the latest batch. God. We have another 15 that we Please. May, that we may never play. Yeah. <sighs> that was we'll 15 see. of those fucking things. 15. I, was 15. I we thought that was all 30. That's how it felt. Sitting through that, a couple we, of good ones. Now you guys know how Steve feels every morning. Oh, goes through this shit. Every and those are the ones morning. he handed off as all right. They can maybe play, do something maybe with you this. Can do these. Yes. I want Steve to present just one, the worst one he gets, like the one he deems the worst one he he got. I want to hear what that one is. All right, that's not a bad idea actually. We got American Idol stuff. Want to do this now? Eh, why not? Okay. Last night, the premiere. Season what? I have no idea. Season four, maybe? Four, oh, yeah. five. You got to watch the five. first week or two. That's what I do. The first yeah. couple weeks, and then I'm out. 
I'm out. I don't I nah, give a shit kinda, who wins in the end. They kind of get me in there after the first couple of weeks, and then I start going, yeah, that one's all right. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah, I get into, get into that into part of it. Um, no, Bill, I got to say, I, I was never into Bo Bice. And who, who's, who's the other one with the Constantine? Uh, you tell me. You tell me. Who was the other one that you seem to know all the names? I know all the shithead names. Constantine? I knew, yeah. like, William Hung. Oof. That was it. I somehow missed that dude. Really? Like, cause I, I saw the first season, and then I didn't watch a couple seasons. But the the seasons are, like, every three weeks, it seems. Mm, yeah, I think they have two a year, don't they? I don't know. I don't even fucking know. But now everyone wants to be like William Hunk, is what uh, this Yeah, is so they're trying, you know, if you can't be really good, they're trying to be really bad or freakish and be that next. Like the guy William dressed Hung. as the Statue of Liberty, we got his audio here. Oh, it just, he came in uh, thinking that his gimmick was going to do something for him. He started singing and it was over. I'm Blake from New York. Wow. wow. Start spreading. Thank you. <laughs> Got you, guys. Thank you. That's it. What's wrong? That's it. What do you mean that's it? It's a no. Off you go. What do you mean that's a no? That's a no. Thank you very much. Not you want to give me one more try with another I want to give you one more chance. Off you go. Off you go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he, he walked out like <laughs> he had, he has that that uh, Statue of Liberty that styrofoam crown that you yeah. see tourists wearing around. Yeah, the around tourists here. wear them uh, around New York City. <laughs> the Statue of Liberty crown of foam. He probably thought it was a great idea. This will get me some attention. Oh, to get attention, it's going to be great. Yeah, that's the best part of the show are the people that come in there and you know that they've fantasized of what it would be like to to make it all the way to the end. And the winner is between these two people, and it's them, and they, they have the whole thing out. They're going to go out and sign autographs and, and tour, and and th <laughs> that hope that is built up in them for so long, and the dreams that are in their head, and that, that inkling of and a that possibility. That 16-hour line. Yeah, that yeah. Awesome. And, and the fantasy isn't just this weird fantasy that there isn't a possibility of in their head. They're there. There's a chance it could be them. And then they walk in, and it's instantly crushed. Just all that hope, strength, gone, goodbye, and some of them just lose their Th minds. That's what he gets after three days. That's it. Some of yeah. these guys waited around for three days. Thank you. Stop spread. Thank you. Uh, huh? One of my favorites from last night was the tan girl with the fake tan. Oh, my oh the God. white trash, yeah. She was just a mumbling idiot. White trash, her mother. Uh, wound up coming in, I guess, after she auditioned. They brought the mother in, who had no teeth. And, um, well, and was uh, about 11 years older than her daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was not much age difference there. Just whether it, she looked like any any woman that comes out of the trailer on any episode of Cops. Right. To say that her husband's drinking and beating her. Uh, and she's wearing, like, tons of eye makeup, uh, a little short skirt. And uh, she was a mess. She, right when she started talking... We looked at the TV and went, oh, my God, she's got no teeth. She's got no teeth. The mom? or Yeah, the, the mom. Oh, okay. The mom. And then the daughter was just one of these 16-year-old, like, cadets. white trash that you know you is just fucking everyone in town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely Christina Aguilera influence. Yeah, yeah. It wants to be Christina Aguilera very a year, badly. A year away from working at the strip club, probably. Yeah. All right. Here's her audio. I don't know. I guess I'm an outgoing person. I love singing, dancing, modeling, everything in the entertainment field. It's like my life. I swear to God. Like, everything I do is based on that. Like, cause, I don't know. I listen to music every day. I don't know. It just makes me so happy. I don't know. It's just going on. I'm really and with one final delicate touch, Crystal perfects the natural look and is ready for her moment. I think I'm kind of like a singular because, like, I I have an attitude like uh, I'm gonna do it no matter what. No one's gonna stop. Me. A lot of likes in there. Yeah. No one's like, gonna stop you. Oh, you don't know what you're in for, sweetie. Er, here come the breaks. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, the tan. Okay, um, my name is Crystal. Um, I just turned... Now, I want to hear about your suntan. Okay, um, I'm singing Anna, I'm Telling You by Jennifer Hunt. No, no, no. I want to hear about your suntan. Oh, my suntan? Yeah. 
uh, I go tanning? No. <laughs> but I don't think that's the main importance here. Like, no, but it is quite prominent. Oh, it is? Mm. Uh, no, but I, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry to go on time. about this. Hang on. You're 16, no? and it's the most strange look, makeup, tan I have ever seen in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> she doesn't know how to answer that. Okay. Everyone has just told her that she's so hot and wonderful uh, yeah. and stuff, and uh, never, never talked down to her at all. And uh, there's Simon, toothless it's mother just, out there. Yeah, tooth, you but look beautiful. Toothless mom, are you fantastic? You're gonna be a star. <laughs> all right, well here she is singing. And I am telling you, I'm not going. You're the best man I ever know. There's no way I can ever go. And no, no, there's no way. No, 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 no way I'm living without you. You're the love. I'm, I'm going to have to stop. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, I'm sorry. Please. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. When Paula stops you. Yeah, when it's really to, bad. When you have to go, please. Yeah, uh, please. She doesn't know what to say. Please, please, please. please I, 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 like, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, please, uh, pass uh, potatoes. Uh, I, uh, please. She has no like idea a what sober, to say. Sober uh, Tara Reed. <laughs> right before the drinking years. I, please, please. Okay, I, I, I didn't say it. I was just uh, my sentence. Uh, I, I was. Uh, I just left to sing and entertain. Please. <laughs> I was making an egg in my dad's voice. I raped me and my face hit the frying pan. Tara, please. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> and, and Paula stopped her, so that's yeah, really that's, bad. That's never she was good. doing that um, weird growly thing. Yeah. Uh, the singing is bad enough. That it's kind of screechy and stuff. And then when she started growling like that. Yeah. Uh, all right, a couple more highlights. We got uh, the girl that sang Blue Moon. That was pretty damn fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, my she, God. She kept starting and stopping. Yeah, and big. Over and over again. Big fat chick with the hairiest arms like gorilla hairy arms, and then on her shoulders were just these stretch marks. Just oh. how, how do people? How do people look at themselves and go, American Idol? My old American Idol. I am American Idol material. Stretch marks from carrying all those pots of coffee at the IHOP. <laughs> <laughs> Big biceps and stretch marks and hairy arms. Yeah, uh, and, and how do they just look and go, yep, yeah, this, this is, is what, it. it's, I'm the next American Idol, yeah. Well, here she is. Blue moon, you knew just what I was there for, you knew, oh my god, I'm so, oh my god, I'm so nervous, I'm so sorry. Blue moon, you knew just what I was there for, you knew, oh my god, I'm so <laughs> Blue Moon. That's fantastic. Oh my, oh my god. It's great to watch. Blue Moon. You saw me standing alone without a love of my own. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. When will my reflection show who I am inside? Napoleon. Napoleon. Oh, oh my God! She could have blew Simon, and she wouldn't have fucking gotten in. <laughs> right. I don't think he swings that way. No, you think he's a uh, gay? Yeah, you know what I notice about gay guys? No matter what shape they're in, they wear tight shirts. Oh, let's look around. They all did not got the tight shirts around here. Uh huh. Oh, well, oh, shiny tight shirts. There. I don't want to get shiny Steve tight shirts. Oh, okay. You know he has been uh, connected uh, romantically. They all got the, they got the man tits. And they're still wearing that. I work in a hair salon shirt. Oh. <laughs> and they usually with like some like eighteen year old kid like they're teaching him how to be gay. <laughs> like this is okay. this is how you do it. He's uh, been uh, linked though to uh, a lot of hot chicks and stuff. I'm sure he has. Yeah. Oh. All right. I'm not trying to make excuses for him there. I don't know, that's just, that's just one of those things I look at and I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of here. And it's so hard to make a gay man argument while you're eating a banana. Yeah, Bill. that was a little <laughs> weird, actually. I noticed you broke it into pieces, though. <laughs> this is a deep throning. Yeah, <laughs> like, Jimmy, you ever know? <laughs> right. Nothing beats Jimmy eating bananas here on the show. <laughs> if you notice that he's eating a banana, he will take it, 
deep throat it and put his own hand on the back of his head and push <laughs> push down on his head. <laughs> the guy's a fucking idiot. I love him. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, this was great. This guy sang his heart out, and then uh, Simon pretty much told him to shave and and uh, be a woman or something. Yeah, the guy again, obviously uh, a gay gentleman. Yeah. Uh, have a little bit of trouble with his song. He sounds weird. He's got a weird voice. And Simon let him know. I went to two auditions last year, and uh, the judges gave me some ideas and some tips that I should do and that I should follow. And I followed their instructions this time, and I think I want to make it to Hollywood. The American Idol is just what I want to be. To have a voice to sing a song that reaches deep to the sea. You can't say no, I will not go. There's a song I have to sing. The American Idol is just what I want to be. It doesn't get any worse than that, Charles. <laughs> Paul will hate me for saying this, but I don't mean this disrespectfully. You know what my advice to you would be? Honestly, shave off the beard and wear a dress. Why? Because Why would he'd you say be that? a great female impersonator. What are you trying to say, Simon? You are trying to say that he should be a woman. No worse than telling someone to be a rat. You're an ass. It's poor. You're an ass. It's you're an ass. You're an ass. You're an ass. I'm saying he's a fucking faggot. Okay. <laughs> right. Like, ju just, he was being as blunt as he could right there. The guy was, uh, gay. Uh, I'm just sick of the female. I'm just sick already of the fake tension between Paul Abdul and Simon. Yeah. You know, like, she's supposed to be, on. like, the real nice one and stick up for these kids, and it's just so fake to me. Yeah, it's been built up into the, It started authentic where. Yeah, she kept saying last night, you're a pill. You're a pill. You're a pill. Pill. Well, what the hell does that's, that mean? It means that's it was on her mind all night. All right. Please. <laughs> I need a pill. I need a pill. But that fake tension, it's like, ugh, I'm yeah. not buying into that. Sorry. Nope. Uh, all right. And then uh, American Idol will end with this. Ended with a surprise. A guy that was completely out of his fucking mind. Yeah, this makes no sense. I, are they trying some new gimmick? I don't know. Let's not give it away until the end, yeah. I guess. But, uh, Ooh. The guy says he talks with animals. This is how he he introduced himself. Well, I understand that you um, talk with the animals, or they talk with you. Uh, when I was 16, animals started talking to me in like in English. Yeah, it was kind of a cartoonish voice, let's say. But like with verbs and pronouns and nouns and everything. Oh yeah. Well, that's Clear as day. Woo! Hello. How oh. you doing? Whoa! I'm here. Woo! Barefoot and all. <laughs> yeah. He's barefoot and just like jumping up and down yeah. like crazy. Oh. And then he sings. Something that I can't define. Oh. This is only something that I can't be called. Enough of this. Just one more kiss and I will do <laughs> anything do. you want do. me to. Okay. Catchy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Feel it. Feel it. Whoa. You just keep moving now. Woo. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Keep do going. It. Do it. Work it out. Work it out. Yeah. 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 I feel it. Yeah. yeah. So then uh, they basically make a monkey. Out. They get just they encourage him to jump up and down and make a complete ass of himself. But then they got caught up in it, except for Simon, Paul, and what's the other guy's name? Uh, Randy. Oh, Randy. Okay. Yeah. They get caught up in uh, this craziness that this guy has, and then it, there's a surprise, and here it is. Okay, Randy, yes or no? Uh, I don't know. You know, I'm kind of on the fence with this one. Yes or no? Yes. <sighs> because Dave's going to talk to the animals yes. for me. Yes. Yes. You promise? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I say yes. 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 She said yes. Yes. One down. Yes. One down. Yes. One down. Uh, Dave, I am going to say categorically never. Okay. <laughs> so your fate lies in Paula's hands. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling, feeling the yes. Feeling the yes. Ooh, it's so much. For my own reasons, yes. Yeah. Yes. Woo! <laughs> yeah, welcome to Hollywood, Dave. Yeah! 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 Woo! Tell it out there, Dave. Dave you, out. You're going through.
Cool. Dave, you're welcome to Hollywood. Thank you. One of a kind. Are you completely insane? <laughs> Why? Like, is he going to be crazy guy through the whole thing? Because I'm, th I'm thinking, I'm Not thinking the whole this thing. Way. Just the next round, then they get rid of him. They just were having some fun. I'm thinking Look, that guy shouldn't be in it, but what the hell? But you know what? I noticed Simon does because you know you're saying that attention's phony. I think it bugs him that she that Paula will never say no. So he he tries to get it to where it's her decision. Yeah, to make, her, make it her to decision. One. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I so Randy, that a couple Ra of times. yeah, Randy will say yes, and then Simon says no, and they need two out of three. So he goes, well, it's up to you. And now Paul is put in the position. She hates to that. Crush the dream, yeah. which she doesn't like to no, do. She just no. can't do that to anyone, right? Uh uh. And she's not helping these people I, because they stink. They stink. They're just gonna get their dream. Now their hopes are up another notch. Now yeah. that guy has no hopes. He's just a goofball. But but I'm I don't thinking think he's actually sitting there thinking he could actually be a. I think he's more sane than most of the other ones that they kicked off. I it, think it's and a they were delusional, going, "Well, I don't understand." Complete gimmick. They know that the, the, the freak factor, like you said, the freak factor is over after the initial auditions. And then they go into the, the Hollywood part of it, and that's where they lose you and a lot of other people, I guess, punch out of the show. So now they have this freak guy. So if you're into that whole part of it, it yeah. gets a little more mileage you're, out of it. You're onto something because now I'll have to take a peek until that guy gets kicked and out. I, and, and they're not done by far with the auditions, the initial auditions. I bet they let a few more of these nut jobs in so that that freak factor is there for the uh, Hollywood For segment. another week or two, right? Yeah, well, that, that, guy, yeah. that guy's horrendous. Yeah. That's what will happen. It made me laugh really hard, that guy. Yeah, that was a complete What happened fool. to the cop? You guys didn't have that one? Oh, the cop was great. Uh, I shot the sheriff. Yeah, we <laughs> don't have that one. I line. did not shoot the deputy. I shot, shot the, the sheriff. sheriff. And, and they just let him keep going and going and going. He wouldn't stop. Yeah, maybe we could get that. <laughs> it was really bad. You just know he went back to the station house and they just like... Oh, just killed him. Pounded him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just killed you him. You know, it's like... Over the car radios. I shot the sheriff. They're playing tapes of his performance. <laughs> and he's over like the... going, all right, all right. right. Asshole. At least I fucking tried. At least I had the courage to try. I shot the sheriff. Shut up. <laughs> Forty years from now, oh, that's all you're gonna have to sing to him. You immediately get into a fight with him. Yeah. <laughs> all that angry cop energy. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we're going to try to find that audio. Uh, we're going to take a break, and we'll continue in just a bit here with the Opie and Anthony oh, program. Right. Bill Burr in studio. Bill, you're uh, promoting, um, I forgot, Stress Factory? Stress Factory, 27th to 28th right. of January, and uh, the 1st through the 5th, I'm at Zanies in Chicago. Very nice. Okay, Bill Burr, everyone. You have to pay for this shit. <laughs> That's right. That's my goddamn yeah. slogan. Everyone trying to come up uh, with slogans lately. That means everybody's switching. Huh? That means everybody's switching. What do you mean? I'm just saying the FBI, FB, uh, FBI, the FM guys, they didn't give a fuck. Of, even like a month ago, they didn't even have this ad campaign. No. Nah. Well, they were taking commercials for a while. Yeah, we started this yesterday. They're um, they're talking to all the, the big wigs and regular radio. Yeah. To come up with slogans for uh, commercial radio, and they're just god awful. We got into this yesterday and then ran out of show, I guess, right? And uh, I don't know because uh, satellite radio is getting a lot of attention. There's articles about it every single day in every paper in America, pretty much. Mm -hmm. It's just blowing up, and now commercial radio is scared. Mm. <laughs> How's that blueberry pop tart? It's excellent. <laughs> Excellent. The pop tarts are excellent this That's morning. That's what's great about uh, satellite. It's either listen to me eat a pop tart or listen to some car commercial. Okay, <laughs> this is satellite radio, right? <laughs> you can pay to hear someone eat. Anyway, mm -hmm. FMQB, one of the radio rag magazines and websites, they, uh, I guess, they put the word out, and they're collecting slogans for commercial radio. 
They're a scream, I got to tell you. These are god awful. And Bill pointed it out yesterday, because Bill, obviously a comedian, so he's looking at these things, trying to see if anyone out there is being sarcastic and having fun with this little thing they're doing, and you really couldn't find any, right? Yeah. Bill? Uh, I think there's like there's like 50 here, and I think one or two guys weren't just total, like, the company men. Right. Yeah, because they're, they're all up, awful. They're coming up with slogans, uh, and and I know these guys. I don't know them personally, but I just know how they think, and... And here's their opportunity to get their name in print in FMQB, so they're all excited. And they probably tried out five or six of these on their friends. And then they go, oh, this is the one I'm going to email over, man. Mm -hmm. This is the one that will get my name in print. And they're just stupid. Like Bobby uh, Sato from KCXX. His slogan for commercial radio, it's free, and that is a good price. Wow. We thought all day and sent that in. John Perone, TVT, whatever that is. Listen to us or we'll fucking kill you. <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> that, that is pretty is good. It, 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 I, I it's think, not bad if he means it. Like, <laughs> if he seriously is homicidal and will go out and kill people. <laughs> that just, I'd like to see. Obviously, it's not regular radio, though, because it's, uh, what's TVT? I guess that's important there. That's why he was able to get a little more uh, saucy. Oh, saucy. He was able to get saucy because it wasn't commercial radio. And Dave Rossi from WAVF, he's just a scream. Here's the one that pokes fun at us, Anthony. Oh. Hey, did you hear what Opie and Anthony did on the radio today? Nobody did. Satellite radio, it's awesome. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I get it because no one's listening. Yeah. Mm. That joke might have been relevant a couple of years ago. Hey, did you hear what no Dave Ross, Rossi said? Who? <laughs> <laughs> we got some guy that's doing a dumb show in what? South Carolina in one little city trying to say that uh, no one's listening to Opie and Anthony? Yeah, no one's listening to us. At least when no one's listening to us, uh, our signal is from... The East Coast, all the way to the West Coast, see the all the way up sea. into Canada, and uh, I hear even like Puerto Rico. Mexico. So even though no one is hearing what we're saying there, Dave, our signal is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Where are you? W-A-V-F. In South Carolina. In South Carolina. See, that's silly, because as like, soon as you drive like a half hour, no one knows you. Dave <laughs> Rossi's a whore! <laughs> All right, moving on. You got his website? Does he have a website? Yeah, what's uh, Dave Rossi all about? Might as well... Uh, From W-A-V-F. Give out the website so the nobodies that listen to our show... Right. And maybe drop him an email. Yeah, let's show... I think he'd appreciate let's that. Let's show Dave Rossi uh, how many nobodies we actually have. Yeah. It's 96 Wave. 96 Wave? It's uh, Storm... What? With Storm and... Wait, Storm with Stupid Mike Kenny? In the morning, Oof. the Storm and Kenny morning show. That, Storm and Kenny. Holy shit, Dave. You, please tell me you're doing middays. Oh, no. The is worst he? shift that you could do on a radio station. Is he? The worst shift. Oh, is what? Mid middays? Yeah, middays. Is that worse, that's even worse than overnight? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Because the people that are... Because you're working during the day. See, the, the whole thing with radio, you, it, it, in the end, you want to, like, entertain the people on the way to work, and you want to entertain the people on the way out of work. Right. Middays is just, that's where you put a guy that is very safe and has a good voice, and he's not going to do anything too crazy. He's just going to kind of keep the music going. Yeah. And nights, uh, like like after afternoon drive, like 7 o'clock, that guy is still getting some uh, people coming home, but you're also getting people that are going out. So they're in their cars and stuff. Yeah. Middays, middays, they're at work. You're uh, sitting at work. You could either have a radio or you can't. And then there's other choices to be made. Or... And if you are listening to the radio, it's in the background because you got you, you got stuff to do. And the biggest thing about uh, midday jocks are it really is about the music. Don't talk. Don't do, people are at work. They just want to hear music if they can listen to the radio. They want to hear your opinions. They don't want to hear like a morning guy where he'll say the news or something like that. The afternoon guys talk. Yeah. Midday, keep your mouth shut. 
Keep the music going for the people that can listen to it. It's 96wave.com. He might even be starting to shift soon if it's a midday shift. Ooh. We're on until 11, so maybe... That's W-A-V-F. Yeah, maybe he starts at 10. Maybe someone in South Carolina. Wave-ith. What yeah. town is this Wave-ith. in? Wave-ith. Charleston. Oh, Charleston? If uh, someone's listening to us in that area and they could maybe tune in uh, 96 Wave, we would love to listen to them. We would love to listen to them right now. We don't even have to wait right for, now. for Dave Rossi to... Uh, to start his uh, cute little little uh, midday shift. Let's get a listener from that area. I want to hear that station right now. Dave in Alabama. Alabama man. Alabama man. What's up, Dave? Daniel. Uh, Daniel, what's up? Uh, nothing, man. Uh, Dave Ross used to do middays down here, and he was a jerk off back then. He'd cut in the middle of songs and do crystal commercials. He was a freaking Seinfeld ripoff wannabe. Oh, it was horrible. Okay, we'll take a listen to Dave and see how brilliant of a broadcaster he is, because he has uh, no problem taking a shot at us. That's right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So- there he goes. Huh? So he's done middays all across the country. So this is just like a hack comedian. The yeah. Guy, oh guy, yeah. The guy who's open for. Oh yeah, yeah. Open for everybody. Basically, if you do middays, they don't have enough confidence in you at your at your radio station to give you a better shift. And, and he's you, probably, you know, because they have to justify his pay. So he's probably the midday slash music director, aren't you, Dave? You're <laughs> that guy. You're the guy that has to talk to all the record labels, aren't you, Dave? And you think you're cool. Because you get to add the new Green Day song. Don't you, Dave? Don't you, Dave? And if you That's were... your gig, isn't it? <laughs> if you were the midday guy at another station and you move to be the midday guy, that is really bad. Like, if you move from middays, you want to move to mornings or afternoons. Right. Uh-huh. You don't move to do middays somewhere else. I swear and to you. And that sucks, doesn't it, Dave? Doesn't it, Dave? I swear to you. <laughs> I have no idea what Dave Rossi's about, <laughs> and I guarantee that I just hit it on the head. He does Didn't middays, he and he's a music director. Hit it on the head. Didn't he, Dave? Right on the head. <laughs> he's got to schedule the music. Don't you, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> Sitting in your office with all your rock posters and rock memorabilia, thinking yeah. you're cool. But secretly Hold, holding all the concert tickets so the rest of the staff at the station has to come to you, right, Dave? Exactly, Dave. <laughs> secretly hating your life. Yep. Aren't you, Dave? Aren't little, you, Dave? Little jealous of the people that have actually uh, succeeded in the biz, Dave. Little jealous. You have, ah, but he's the mid You have to go to every fucking show that comes through Charleston, don't you, Dave? <laughs> And you have to bring the listeners backstage for the meet and greets. Hey, Dave, how many lunches you got to take with the record rep guys? Huh? How many exciting lunches do you have to go to, Dave? (laughs) Dave, are you the jock that has to go on stage and say, I'm Blah Blah from (laughs) WAVF? And you get all those blank stares because no one gives a shit about the midday guy. That's you, isn't it, Dave? And they don't. Do they, Dave? <laughs> Are you the one that has to actually carry the the radio station banner to the gig? After you drove the van there, Dave? And you got the duct tape and you got to throw that on the stage. But then they tell you to take it down because the band doesn't give a shit about your stupid station. <laughs> That's you, isn't it, Dave? <laughs> it's you, right, Dave? Ugh. Ugh, indeed. Did you learn Selector when you were 17 and you're proud of that, Dave? No one gives a shit. They have iPods now. You've been replaced by an iPod, Dave. Irrelevant. They're programming their own music, Dave. No one cares about Dave. You're in a stupid midday shift. Ugh. Ugh. Do you do noontime blocks, do you, Dave? (laughs) You're the noontime block guy, aren't you, Dave? Happy, happy, joy, joy. Bet you have a special lunchtime song, don't you, Dave? Yeah, what's your special feature? Yeah. 
Yeah, there's got to be a special giveaway feature that, that he does every day. That hides the fact that you weren't good enough for the afternoon drive slot. That's you, isn't it, Dave? <laughs> does the morning show play a song clip backwards and they have to call your show to tell you what it was so you could give them a prize, Dave? Is it noontime blocks and free lunch? You're the free lunch guy, aren't you? <laughs> free lunch. <laughs> Your dreams to be on at five o'clock getting the lead out. You give, isn't it, Dave? You you give lunch to one listener and his coworkers. That's you, isn't it, Dave? I bet you still try to grow your hair long because you still want to be a rock and roller. Are you rocking, Dave? Oh, there he is. And Let's I, turn that around. And he does have the long hair. There he is. <laughs> wow, you, that is the picture of the guy I pictured. <laughs> that's, that's, Holy shit. That's a midday guy right there. Well, we're getting more info about um, the claim to fame here. Well, let's hear about Dave. Let's go to Rob in South Carolina. Morning, boys. How hey, are you? Hey. Hey, this this station down there is just garbage, man. Their claim to fame is a bikini contest at a local beach bar. 96 wave, we suck. Wait, they do a bikini contest? Of course, they're the wave, so they got to tie it into some type of beach thing. I love this guy from Florida. Frank in Florida. Frank? Hey, hey man, don't give this guy any more press. That's what he wants you to do. Come on. Give it up. Ooh, because we're scared of Dave. Yeah. <laughs> we talk about him. He gets a little uh, notoriety before Next thing you, know you know it. His signal goes to North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he might hit it big. Woo. Right. How is he going to fight back? Is he going to do a block of the who? <laughs> <laughs> we got some... a twofer in there. Yeah, is he the guy that has to schedule all the twofers? <laughs> Double shot of heart coming up. Uh, and we're not trashing Ron and Fez, you idiots. Satellite's different. Satellite's different and talk is different. That's right. And being a music jock that's in right. the day. The show replays all over the place, and we have big plans for Ron and Fez. So you guys relax. We're not trashing our brothers. We're trashing. Uh, we're trashing Dave. Dave Rossi. W A V F. We'll talk about him. Dave. Ninety six wave. That means you're faggoty rock. We'll faggoty rock every day for four hours, and he still is never going to get out of South Carolina. Yeah. Ninety six wave. That means you're faggoty rock. We could do the Dave Rossi show every day, where we just praise him, and still, he would not. Get out of where he is. Someone makes a great point, by the way, in Iowa. Way to help us out with the Dave trashing today, Bill Burr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Way to go. I guess Dave can't help you, huh, Bill? I'm sure if Patrice was oh, here, oh, he'd be ragging there. Dave, too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> exactly. That's how the fucking game God. works. Hey, Dan, very Pretty good. brave, aren't you, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Go ahead, uh, Dan in Iowa. What's I don't up? know, Dave. <laughs> Bill Burr, you are a fucking pussy. Who who's on the air? You're just oh, oh, you're, oh, I don't want to say nothing. I want to get too close to that microphone. Hell, when Dave's on the air, yeah, you fucking. <laughs> I gotta defend myself, you fat fuck. <laughs> Howard Stern hooked me up. <laughs> Howard Stern, when I had nothing going on, hooked me up. I opened for Dave Chappelle, and he was fucking cool. And unlike you, you fat, ham and cheese eating faggot, I don't turn my back on people like that. I'm not swayed by other people in the fucking room. I'm not some seventh grade girl. Oh my god, I have to hate who you fucking hate. I don't hate the guy. I think he's fucking funny, so I'm not gonna sit here and fucking trash him. Alright, you fat fuck? So why don't you go wrap your rusted Chevy Nova around the nearest fucking oak tree? Wow. Did wow. He hit, did he hit a nerve? Ooh. No, I just, you know. <laughs> Jeez. You just go, he can just come out swinging. All right, we got... Didn't know Howard gave you the fucking breath of life after some drowning incident. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He fucking hooked me up. I had absolutely nothing going on. You're like that chick at the end of Saturday Night Fever. He helped me, all right? <laughs> he helped me. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> what am I going to do? He helped you, all right? You want to go for some tea or something? All right, let's go to John, North Carolina. John? <laughs> hey, guys, I love XM. Love it. Hey, let's this guy, uh, Rob. He was hosting the wing eating contest at some wild wing cafe or something during the 4th of July weekend. Oh, he has to do those things, Who, too? Dave? Oh, it was 
pathetic. I mean, it was the constant loud, loud PA system and five sloppy fat guys just shoving wings. Yeah. That's why radio guys get no respect, because of, da uh, of Dave's out, out there. there. Let's say hi to Momo. Momo! Hey, you guys need to leave Dave alone. Why? I'll, I'll, I'll kick your ass. Because he needs, hey, man, everybody's got to pay their dues somewhere. And you guys, just because you guys are, especially you, Obi, are prima donnas that can't even put a week in uh, when you're not feeling up to snuff. <laughs> you know, I mean, at least, at least he comes to work every day. He has uh, he's, to. He's, he's, he's out there grinding. He's, he's putting it. He's hey, putting that, he's hey, Momo. There. Momo, do you realize that last week I took off for the one of the first times in my entire career? I got hit with the flu really bad. So, yeah, well, so that argument is stupid. Anyone that well, knows this program knows that. Uh, pretty much all of us work through sickness. Ten years, and I think we've each taken a day off in in ten years uh, because we were sick. So that argument blows, and uh, yeah. And, and, and your other argument stinks, too, because the guy took a shot at us, so we fight back. That's all. No, but now listen to me. I'm he was brave you. enough to take a shot at us, so we uh, retaliate. What's wrong with that? No, there's nothing wrong with that. Is he one of your favorites, Mo? Hey, listen here. Hey. Does Momo listen to 96 Wave? Favorite station, Momo. What, did they get play one of your requests one day, Momo? <laughs> Were you uh, allowed to introduce the Leonard Skinner twofer and you <laughs> never the, forgot it? Did the jock throw you a T-shirt at an appearance once, Mo? <laughs> Were you the lucky one that got to say, hi, I'm Momo, and I listen to 96 Ways? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what, man? I'm telling you what, I'm going to bust your chops because you could have you come in last week. What? Some work. I said hey, Anthony could have come in last week. And I'll feel work. I'll feel that, my friend. I'll feel that. Do you know it's in our contract that if one of us doesn't work, uh, the other one doesn't come into work either? It Do you is. know that is written into our deal? That's written into our That's deal. That's written into our deal. And you know why? Why is Because that? we're not two phony, interchangeable jock shitheads like you see the Slappy and Wappy show in your town, USA, where you can pull out guy number one and pop in Zippy and Whippy, and the show doesn't <laughs> fucking change. It's Opie and Anthony. If it's one of us, uh, then it's none of us. It's hey. both of us that do the Opie and Anthony show. If one of us is sick and taking off, the other one doesn't try to do the show by himself because that is not the Opie and Anthony show. See, guys that just know a little more about radio than you do, Momo, understand how this show works. Hey, you know what? They don't make, uh, what? If it wasn't for me, you all wouldn't have a job because you know what? I am, a, I am an important subscriber to XM. Blah. Subscriber? Blah. Are you near Blah. your bathroom, sir? Because I have a suggestion <laughs> that a little fat feller named Jimmy Norton once told somebody. What's that? Take your XM, flush it down the toilet, buy a Sirius, and go fuck your mother. Oh, okay. That's a hell of a comeback, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Momo, come on. He says, okay. I, I would love to hate you, you but I'm really... I, I really need you to, co to come back with something. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> 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 Bill Burr will, will take up my back. He's got my back, right? Don't you, Bill? All right, Momo. Another person not ready for the Sunday morning uh, TV show. Bye-bye, <laughs> Momo. Right. Uh, I'm going to come up there. Okay. How far is that rusted out pickup going to get, Ooh. buddy? Virginia? Not very. I don't understand these guys. You know, this guy took a shot at us, so we fight back a little. You mean Dave? Good old Dave. <laughs> yeah. He's organizing his music right now, getting ready for his big show. <laughs> How's it going, Dave? Good. Good. He's on his computer. What else is on this? Uh, Should we play website? after Jethro Tull? Go to contests. Go to shows. Yeah, and come wanna, on, E-Rock. I want to see what 96 Wave is all about. Let's get a feel for the station. They're local. See, Satellite, we don't know anything about local, Opie. Right. Nothing. What about their big events? Big events is a link. Click here for events calendar Gotta be for big. 96 Wave. It's a white. It's a blank white page. All right. Move what are on. they up to? Well, uh, they're doing the Wild Wing thing. I guess you can hang out at a place called Firehouse, and that's it. That gay place down there at uh. That's all they got. Oh, okay. That's it. The Firehouse, the morning show. The poor guys. They have to show up at the Firehouse every Monday night at eight thirty. 
Join the Are Storm and Kenny Morning Show at the Firehouse Bar and Grill in West uh, Ashley for Monday night football, table sports tournaments, and fantasy football. Also enjoy free wings and a dollar core, li- core, core light drafts. Core light? That's how it's uh, You only so. get one? <laughs> you know, you know, you Can I have a core? <laughs> oh my God! And then Thursday they send the morning show out again. Oh, these guys are road hogs. <laughs> these guys have to do fucking bar gigs. That shit lasted for like a year with me and Ope. Yeah, we did. We went out to bar gigs like it was every Wednesday at Cadillacs uh, up in Massachusetts, and we would go there get hammered, hammered. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, that lasted for like two weeks. Join Storm and Kenny at Red's Ice House on Shem Creek. And then what's Wild Wing about on Saturday? If it's, if, I bet it involves wings. Is it Storm and Kenny again? What is this? What do they have a fucking stock in chicken? That's all they got. Everything is about their chicken wings. Dude, that's all their events? Yep. Like, what do they do for like contests and stuff? There's nothing listed. There's nothing, nothing listed for contests or anything? Coming soon. Click here for contest rules. All right, and then the shows don't... <laughs> Coming soon, something interesting. Uh, oh, here we go. Every Wednesday at noon, so that's today, they do 90s at noon. Ah, so that's what uh, Dave is doing? 90s at noon. 90s at noon, pump out a little sound garden. A little uh, Nirvana. Nirvana, a little Pearl Jam. Yeah, I'm here. Change. I'm feeling you. A little Blind Melon. Yep. Yeah. Come to the rooster. Oh, yeah. That's what his entire afternoon sounds like. Even flow. Hey, I like the 90s. Oh, food, man. <laughs> What's that? Ain't found a way. I tell. Hello, this is Pete Townsend. Oh, sometimes it's not even uh, uh, his name. Yeah. It's like, hey, this is Lane Staley. And you're listening to Dave Rossi. <laughs> <laughs> like, they couldn't even get him to say his name. <laughs> Beth in New Orleans, Chocolate City, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful here in the Chocolate City. I think you guys are being assholes this morning. Come well, on. Dave. This morning? He's, well, all the time, but he's, he's just doing his job out there. He picked on you. Okay, I agree. You should go after him for that. But the world is full of crappy jocks just doing remotes and getting their job done. Oh, really, Beth? Well, crappy jocks, <laughs> crappy jocks should not be uh, taking shots at us. Let's just put it that way. Without, well, you know, without uh, us uh, bringing on a world of hurt. Beth, Beth, right, I, I still water coming through your ceiling, isn't it, Beth? <laughs> Beth? Beth, are you mad because you were the tenth caller once? You no, were. I used to be a judge. Weren't you, actually. Beth? Oh, you were a DJ? Yeah. For what? A uh, station in New Orleans. I was uh, one of those girls you hate. Who oh, the, the hole? Smiley, the smiley, happy girl. We call you the girls of the hole of the show. Yeah. Because you, you never said nothing. anything funny, did you, Beth? But a vagina. Oh. A vagina. What was the name of the show you were on? We were Bo and Beth. Bo and Beth. Ugh. Yeah. The Bo and Beth uh, show. Is it mornings? Yep. Yeah. What happened to your radio career? My radio career, um, well, you know, I couldn't afford the, the a fancy agent and uh, didn't have the great contract, and we got too expensive, and uh, I said, screw it, and I was done. Wait, too expensive for who? When you get too expensive, that means somebody is offering you more money than where you're at. No, no, they, uh, they, uh, it's a stupid story. I worked for all the same crappy companies that you did. Yeah, I only uh, worked Evo, for Evo three. was even our consultant. Oh, God. Oh, how about that? He consulted you right out of there, didn't he? Did you guys, yes. did you guys make uh, fun of his haircuts? I don't remember it being that bad. Really? Must, must, must have gotten worse. Wow. So what was your big thing you did on your show? A, a girly station, so we did all the Battle of the Sexes. Stuff you hate Battle, Battle of the oh, Sexes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we ought to pull that out. That's a great bit. Sure, we did. Were you part of Thunder Country? Thunder Country. There's another Bo and Beth show, I guess. Oh, it's oh, uh, no, no, that one not. Franchise the name out. Yeah, they're on Thunder Country. 
I oh, bet you that's country game. that rocks. Rocks. It's like crossover <laughs> country, man. Classic yeah. rock that yeah. rocks. No fiddles on this station. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're not your father's country. Yeah, yeah great. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. Like, that makes it any better. <laughs> I love you anyway. Beth, Beth, you see... All the filthy stuff we never could. But, Beth, you see, here's something you don't understand. Uh, Dave Rossi took the uh, the first shot, right? Yeah. Um, and we've always been from the school of, no matter what, if someone shoots us with a pea shooter, they get hit with howitzers. That's right. <laughs> so we might come off like assholes, but I think our buddy Dave deserves every bit of it. And we still can't get... Does. We still want to listen to the station. I know. <laughs> Love you, kiss, kiss. Oh, you were on one of those light stations? Oh, yeah. Ugh. Billy yeah. Ocean? Eek. Billy Ocean is uh, too rocky light for a light station. Light 105.3. Light 105.3. Ario Speedwagon? <laughs> Are you a girl of color, Beth? No, I am not. Well, uh, white. Is You're white? Color? Yeah. Oh, what are you... Wow. He's right. What? The mayor's right. I get the, the mayor's, people the mayor's, back. The mayor is insane. Gotta get chocolate back into New Orleans. All right. We got more Dave Rossi information. This is too good for us. All right. Thank you, Beth. Bye. I know this is uh, very inside, but it just makes us very happy when we go down this road. Richard in Alabama. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, hey Richard. Dave Rossi, uh, his air name was Saucy Dave Rossi. <laughs> You're no, lying. it wasn't. Don't yes, ever even was. try to say that. You're it lying. It was. He was on 10770X in Birmingham. Yeah. And uh, his name was one. Uh, his uh, name was Saucy Dave Rossi. Saucy. And <laughs> wow. This... And he was the program director. Wow. This guy is tackling America one city at a time. <laughs> Saucy <laughs> Dave Rossi with you. He was hurt in Alabama. Now he's hurt in uh, South Carolina. By the oh. time he's 80, he'll cover all 50 states. <laughs> right, Dave. That's no, it. won't you, Dave? <laughs> won't you, Dave? There's a, unfortunately, we can't bring up sound in here, but somebody just emailed me or uh, IM'd me a link yeah. to where you can stream the audio Okay. from uh, WAVF. Well, why don't we stream it now? I want to see what's going on. Stream some audio, doing. record it. Uh, I got the link over here if you want to jot it down. Here comes Steve. Look at the way Steve moves. Well, Erock's like already him. on it, but he's so, okay. too stupid to tell anyone else. Erock's yes. on it. Yeah, good. yeah he oh. does that all the time <laughs> to people. Stupid. No, he is. It, it's frustrating. Like, he just saw Steve running into the studio to try to get the link for the feed as Eric was running out because he has the feed. Look, he's at the computer taking care of it. Oh. Is he? Yes. All right, let's see how long this takes. He, look, he looks frustrated. He does. Oh my! Look at the interns. Look, wow! Look! Look at his face. This new batch of interns, by the way. Yeah. Look, he looks I don't like know what he's in about. Nam. Yeah. Over a dead, bo like a dying body. This is the most important thing in the world to Iraq right now. Oh, is he working hard? Look at the focus. Eyebrows are coming together. Oh, oh frustration. That was a fuck. Uh, oh no! He's turning red. What's his going on out there? changing. He's so focused he can't even hear the show being pumped in right above no. his head. There are problems for oh, Iraq. You, you notice what's going on, Than? Uh, Did you hear anything uh, as you walked in? No? No? All right, everyone's just running around like crazy now. <laughs> just the sound of flop sweat hitting the desk. <laughs> 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 he is sweating. Look at his bangs are getting wet out of his hat. He's got red, rosy cheeks. He's losing it. All right, here we go. Other interns trying to help Two out. Two interns trying to help. Anthony, as he know. tries to get WAVF all hooked up and ready to go, I, I bet you he's having a problem because all our listeners are doing the same exact thing. Probably. You motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, so FMQB, getting back to this, Dave Rossi, his slogan for commercial radio once again was, hey, did you hear what Opie and Anthony did on the radio today? Nobody did. Satellite radio, it's awesome. And then you have JR from WHEB, his uh, slogan for commercial radio. Yeah. The original radio. The original radio. That's his slogan, to get people to listen to commercial radio over satellite radio. But that's not true. Then you got Cindy Miller from WBYR. Oh, wait, I think Iraq's got uh, something. Yeah? Uh, Iraq? I bring nothing to the table. Oh, shit. Oh, well. well we were nothing. hoping you might bring something to the table. Iraq, the, uh, the uh, recording. We need a recording of uh, the radio station. I bring nothing to the table. Uh, yeah. Nothing. Okay. Well, we were hoping. You know this is a bad scene when you have brand new interns actually trying to do it for him. <laughs> oh, he's back. All right, what's wrong, Iraq? Let's pull the report. Iraq. 
we had it set up, somebody turned it off, and now the other computers that are available won't stream audio, so we have to go set it up in the office. It was all set and ready to go. Was but somebody had to turn it off. Who are you blaming? I'm not saying. Um, Who are you blaming? Our crew? Someone from our crew? No. Someone from Ron and Fez's crew? No. Um, oh, oh, uh, somebody that's supposed to be out of here. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's never happening. I, I give up it. on them actually giving us this place. Yeah. I'm so sick of them telling us, no, it's going to, we had a meeting in Washington. They said all this was going to leave and, and new construction was going to start in January. Yeah, they're going to pull all the cubicles out and we're going to January is half over now. Build a great uh, little studio lounge. And I don't see area. one guy with a hard hat. Yeah. No, I don't see one guy with a tape no, measure. No, I don't first. see shit. There's no burly men with blueprints unrolling them on the table going right. and pointing at the ceiling and beams and stuff. So then I asked some people around here. They're like, oh, no, now they're saying spring. I'm so sick of that corporate shit. They push it off. They said they were going to do this when we first got here. Yep. That's 15 months ago. Then uh, we had a meeting recently. Oh, well, the first of the year, we're going to get going with the uh, you know, the construction. Eh. There's nothing going on out there. Still every cubicle uh, from when we got here. Absolutely. Being used for nothing. So uh, Cindy Miller from WBYR. Yeah. She, uh, she writes, I can't say exactly what the slogan would be, but it would focus on our ability to reach out and touch a listener. Our listeners come and hang out with us at concerts and remotes, and they feel like they know us. <laughs> oh. You dick! <laughs> they know you. Do they, Cindy? Do they? What do they know about you? Do they? Because do you really hang out with them at the bar? Or do you just go to the appearance on stage and say who you are and then go back to the VIP area? Oh, wait, that's what I do. <laughs> Cindy, are, are you the one where everyone walks away very disappointed? Oh! You know what I'm talking about, right, oh. Cindy? You don't want me to tell everyone. Oh, no! Do you, Cindy? Oh! Yeah, the listeners do get to know you, don't they, Cindy? <laughs> They hear this hot, sexy voice talking sexy in between the records. And then these guys are, like, turned on a little bit and a little spark of interest. Like, oh, I wonder what Cindy Miller looks hey, like. Hey, she's going to be at a local venue. She's got that hot voice. Yeah. Sultry. Sultry. Sexy. She's giving out swag at the local gin mill. I'm going to go and check out this uh, appearance. And the station did me a favor and they got cheap beer. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go and see Cindy Miller. Let's go see Cindy. And then you as the listener, you're in the audience going, that can't possibly be but the woman I hear on the radio every but day. she sounds so <laughs> sultry. <laughs> and you see looks of disappointment. Yeah. Don't you, Cindy? You've Don't looked you. into those faces of disappointment, haven't you, Cindy? Oh, <laughs> you try to make something in your head that it's... It's not really what's going through their minds, but oh, it is. I'm That's the disappointment. I'm sure you. <laughs> I'm sure you wear the, the the long sweaters to cover up a world of hurt, don't you, Cindy? But you ain't fooling anyone. Loose fitting station sweatshirt. Oh, you try the the stripes <laughs> to make yourself look more slender, to cover up lonely nights of just you and Cheetos. Or that. Or that one outfit that uh, you really like where it has a, f a fake waistband that's a lot lower than your regular waist, so it makes you look slender. <laughs> the only picture of you on the website sitting behind the console. <laughs> well, now we have to... <laughs> oh, Let's take a look at Cindy Miller. Let's pop Eva. up Cindy. Because she says, our listeners come and hang out with us at concerts and remotes, and they feel like they know us. Holy shit, Iraq! I need your help right the fuck now. Thank you. I'm on the motherfucker. WBYR. What do you think? Is she still using her original headshot? I'll oh, get... yeah. Oh, market 103, man. Your your career is taking off, Cindy Market Miller. 103? 98.9, The Bear. The Bear, everybody. Wow. Featuring Ramon doing mornings. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> the Bear. All right, let's take a look here. Bear Rockers, Miller Time, right uh, there. Miller Time, I get it. All right, let's take Holy a Holy Jesus. Oh, yeah. 
All right. God damn it, did I nail it. Spin that around. God damn it. Oh. Yeah, I nailed Let it. Me wow. Yeah. I nailed it. Wow. Not only is she a fat pig, she's trying to still wow. be sexy. Dude, and there's the pictures we're talking about. They're, they're strategically <laughs> taken to, you can't see any of her. There's yeah, a picture of her laying down on her stomach where you only see <laughs> her her forearms, her head, and her feet. Like it's a head-on view of her laying down on her stomach. Then there's another one where she's kind of coming out of one of the toolbars of the website, but yeah. it cuts off right at her breast line. Yeah. But you could tell by her shoulders and her arms That's that she's big. That there's something Grand big going on there. Yeah. But she has that sexy voice. Yeah. God damn, did I nail that. Get to know those those listeners there, Cindy. Any more pictures of Cindy Miller? That is a big man arm, isn't it? Dude, you know yeah. what? I'm just I, I just have to say I just know this business a little too well. I worked at a radio station once. And I don't want to give out the radio station, by the way, Anthony, because uh -huh. you know the story I'm about to tell. All right. We had a girl. Because it's going to oh. hurt somebody, isn't it, Opie? I remember. <laughs> we had a girl that uh, had a amazing radio voice. Absolutely one of the best I've heard. Yep. And it was time for uh, us to get, like, headshots. And, um, you know, they were going to throw the pictures on the website. And this one girl, uh -huh. they made her wear... Tom Cruise, risky business sunglasses, and hide behind a tree where she was peeking out from behind the tree. That was her shot that they used on the website. <laughs> yep, that was it. Now, did they take a whole bunch of other shots and then they just threw that one in so she wouldn't notice Absolutely. that? Absolutely. She was just peeking uh. out from behind the tree. Just showing what would have been her eyes, but they were covered by sunglasses. <laughs> so she's behind a tree. She's peeking out from the side of the tree with sunglasses on. They could not have covered her up more. And that was it. <laughs> was it a redwood? <laughs> what are... <laughs> a big, big giant sequoia. <laughs> Let's go to Tom in South Carolina. Tom? Hey, ma'am. Look here. These you guys, no doubt, are the best in the business, but i got to say... I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm in the 96 wave market. These guys are not part of the corporate world that you guys despise. These yeah, guys have man. Been for years. Oh, stop. All right, well, we can so, listen to the wave right now. So you're listening to the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, this is the wave. Oh. Who is this? I have no idea. You, anyone? 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 Some kind of music I don't listen to. Are they a country station? I have no idea. It has like a country twang to it, doesn't it? Is this the homegrown section of the show? <laughs> This the outfield? I don't know. We'll keep it in the background. If they start talking, we'll Yeah, when they in. start talking, boy, I want to hear it. All right, moving on with the slogans for commercial radio. They just had a lot of fun with this at fmqb.com. Dan uh, Bozic from KUFO. His slogan for commercial radio to make you listen to commercial radio over satellite radio. Still free, bitch. Yeah. Man, he's tough. Uh, trying to move on here. The UFO. Ryan Patrick from KAZR. Terrestrial Radio. We brought you the Pussycat Dolls. What more do you want? What? What they're, does that mean? They're really hot. Good yeah. old band. And, yeah. But I think Satellite was also playing them at yeah. the same time. So how does that possibly make sense? Danny Wright. KSXY. If it's free, it's for me. Alan Fox, WRHT, Hot FM, where the FM stands for free music. Hey, that's good. He figured that out. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. That's pretty much it. It just goes on and on. It's more horseshit from guys all over the country. Question of the week. Yes, Ben. Oh. 
Ben just I'll coming just, in. Oh, I just came in. I want to listen. Oh, this is widespread panic, someone's saying. The wave. Couldn't even hear it. It sounded like a banjo in the beginning. Yeah. I was way off. I'm like, I don't listen to country. <laughs> I know. I thought it was country. Anyone know if it's almost over? <laughs> <laughs> the longer it's, the song it's widespread it. panic. It could go on for a while. Uh, is the morning show still on? Yeah. Yeah? God, we would love to play music. Then we would have cut this bit in half for you. Of course. <laughs> Come on. It's why, it could be a 15-minute song if it's widespread panic. All right. All right here we go. Music, Tellers. That's it? There's, there's second songs right in the killer. That's all you get? That's Not all you get is small letters? Keep it no available. Sweeper. All right, it's uh, it's uh, it's on. we got to listen to the morning show. All right, should we take a break and get Bob Kelly in here? Yeah. Oh, Bob's here. Now, Steve and him Poor were just Bob. Having... Bob of, of the MySpace Massacre. Yes. There he is. They just Poor had a fella. hybrid uh, conversation out there, <laughs> him and Steve, talking about hybrid cars. Why is it? You know something? <laughs> I've read about the hybrid cars even more so than, than when we first were bringing them up. These things are not doing anything. They're not saving. I don't care what anyone says. It's Steve well, will sell it. Steve, it's but a scam. Yeah, it is. The oil companies. I remember the, there's getting like 48 miles to gallon. Do you remember in the late 70s when those Japanese cars were getting that? Yeah. Break with the regular ones. Yeah, regular engines were like, oh, 50 miles per gallon with the and, Honda Civic. And a couple went up to 60. I remember seeing 70. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. The uh, 80s Here came in. Comes. And that And that was it. Defend your car, Steve. Yeah, Steve, I've, d I've done a lot. And, and the I, latest sure issue of Popular Mechanics came in. And now, skewered them, I Popular know. Mechanics... That's where you go for this type of research. Yeah, but Popular Mechanics also said that we're going to have flying cars by now. They laugh at themselves sometimes. Okay. They take a look back, <laughs> right. and they you look back on the pages of uh, Popular Mechanics, and they go, look at what idiots we were. We thought there was going to be a flying car. And they show something from, like, 1920, and, you know, <laughs> the jet pack is right around the corner. <laughs> and they laugh at that. But they did all kinds of things on these hybrid vehicles, Steve, mm -hmm. one, one of which you have. And sure. it turned out... Not really this great amount of savings that you're getting and not worth the uh, cost of the actual vehicle for what you're getting. I see what you're saying. You I, could I just mean, buy a smaller car. Like the Prius, is a, it's kind of a compact car. It is. So if you buy a compact car with a regular internal combustion engine, you're going to get good mileage. I, I see what you're saying. At the time I got it, I got the, the uh, what is it, the uh, rebate, uh -huh. the rebate for buying it. Um, it was a smaller car that I could drive into the city every single day and not have to worry about. Because before that, I was driving an SUV that was costing me a bloody fortune. Honey dispenser on the dash, too? Exactly. That uh, was a great selling point. Exactly. Bees in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, over there it yeah, goes. Exactly. Does, it at least, does it at least burn cleaner than, say, it is. It's okay. environmentally it's, it's in, in, yeah, environmentally sound that's vehicle. nothing. Why am I listening to a man who drives a fucking... Yeah, race? exactly. You he he drives the genetic escalade. Rifles. Yeah. 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 It's an Escalade, my friend. You couldn't oh, get what it is? <laughs> any further in the other direction. It's a from, Durango, from a I know. man. So, uh, you know... I and, understand. And, 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 and if I could, you know, if, if, if I could realistically have an Escalade that would get better mileage, I probably would. I mean, Aww. hell, I mean... You know. just doing it for, but but they're saying it really the cost doesn't work out. You can do it for these environmental reasons, and I, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that because I'm that, spending so much less on a yeah because you were, because you were driving a big a car. Vehicle. Well, a, a, a gas a, guzzler, a gas guzzler. But versus you, one. I, I think you would have gotten the same amount of savings with a regular, uh, hmm. regular smaller car. There's no smaller car out there that's getting 46 miles to the gallon, at least on average. Hmm. There, there aren't. They don't exist. I'll have to give you the article. Okay, thank, thank you. you. How the hell did we have them in the late 70s and then they just yeah, went away? Yeah, all of a sudden they went away. They were saying 50 miles to the gallon you'll get with the new Volkswagen, friggin' whatever it was. Diesel. Or yeah. uh, diesel. Diesel was getting a lot of, was getting good mileage and it still does, but diesel. Oh, oh, oh. Who wants to deal with a diesel? Storm Jenny Radio oh. Show 96 Waves. Looking for someone who knows today's official show sponsor. If you know today's official show sponsor, call our number 5972 Other portions of the Storm and Kenny Radio Show today being brought to us by the following. Got bad body odor? Been having problems with the ladies? Time to get some snatch. 
snatch. The new deodorant that has the strength of a man, but the smooth, gentle glide of a woman. Out here, I work hard. My snatch works really hard. Just three clicks and you can have an armpit full of delicious smelling snatch. Just got back from the gym, man. I feel great. Well, you don't smell so great. Yeah, I didn't have time to take a shower. Here, put some of this on. What is it? Oh, it smells so good. It's snatch. Oh, I love it. Whoa, whoa, watch it there, pal. Keep the nozzle down low. You almost got some snatch on my face. <laughs> snatch is now available in the following delicious scents. Sports snatch, fresh snatch, ocean snatch, old spicy snatch, aromatic earth snatch, deep wood snatch, top so deep wood snatch, roller coaster snatch, Iraqi snatch, <laughs> Iraqi snatch, coconut snatch, ready <laughs> <laughs> Radio Shack Snatch, Lightning Snatch, Pirate Snatch, Extreme Snatch, Apple Snatch, and Smooth Snatch. What Smooth Snatch you have? I don't know. Designed by NFL superstar Fred Smooth. And the all-new 24-hour long-lasting snatch. So just step up to that counter and say, give me some of that snatch. Give me some of that snatch! The Storm and Kenny Radio Show. Mornings are 96 waves. If we repeat a song, it's because you asked for it. Not because the record company did. This is the local and independent 96 way. Oh my God, I got deuce chills. Oh my dear sweet Jesus. There's your free radio. That's everybody. your snatch bit. There's your free radio. That's Enjoy it. Enjoy, kids. Didn't cost you dime one. <laughs> you could have listened to that, and now, now you you heard the snatch bit, right? You have exactly the same amount of money in your pocket as before the snatch bit. <laughs> Not a dime was taken to listen to that. Fake commercials. <laughs> wow. Uh, all right. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. Snatch. <coughs> That's some cutting edge free radio that you're getting there. And who was the guy that didn't want the snatch on his face? Yeah, why wouldn't. Hey, yeah. watch it. Don't get that snatch on my face. I don't get it. Wouldn't he want snatch on his face? Or if you're going to do that, wouldn't you have like a gay sounding voice do that? Like, see, because you don't put deodorant on right, your face. On your so face. that would make sense. But then for a gay guy to say, hey, what are you doing getting snatch on my face? Or how about you having a snatch uh, aftershave? So you could say, "Hey, I'm putting snatch on my face." Yeah, but the, yeah, the references, I, didn't, the writing I, didn't work. The writing didn't work because it, it referenced deodorants and then, but none, none, none of it really right, fit Steve, with snatch. And where the hell was Ramon? I don't Nowhere know. Nowhere to be found. There was no Ramon. Ramon, get me the snatch. <laughs> <laughs> snatch. Oh, it's on satellite. They could have used cunt deodorant. <laughs> That's right. And for a small fee every month, you get that. Snatch. Well, well, there you go. It was free. I don't know how we compete against that. I don't know what you we could possibly do. You don't. We're sunk. I quit. It's, it's brilliant comedy, and it's free. We're done in this business. Is that the quality going out over your station, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Because Dave might be the program director instead of the music director. He had to approve that bit, probably. He has a title. We just don't know what yet. You I, approved it. I'm assistant MD or uh, MD. Well, what one of think? the guys called and said he was a program director somewhere else. So now I'm starting to think that Dave might be program director? midday slash program director. All right. That's pretty big. Very impressive on the radio resume. I'm just thinking music director, Could though. Could wear a couple different hats. <laughs> Save a couple salaries. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> All right. We got to take a break, I guess. We don't have to, but Bob Kelly's here. And we're going to play a game we like to play from time to time called Coming or Going. Well, we've only, only played it once before. Speaking this was the first bit we ever did on yep. XM Radio. We, we're back two oh, years. Oh, oh. 47, looking for someone who knows today's official show sponsor. 96 Radio Live and Local. Who's this, please? This is Dustin. Dustin, which part of the low country are you representing? <laughs> uh, right now, the highway for the Don Hope Bridge. Don Hope Bridge. Oh, we're here. We're here. We're here. Uh, is it raining outside today? No, it's clear. It's just windy as anything, man. All right, Dustin, you know today's official show sponsor. You get a gift certificate for 50 free wings courtesy of Hooters. Hooters North Charleston. Oh, the Hooters T-shirt. Poor guys. And, uh, Hooters, uh, watch all the NFL playoff action, especially this Sunday at the NFC Championship Games. Dustin, who is today's official show sponsor? Today's Storm McKinney Radio Show is brought to you by making your speaker stands all stick and stand. All right, let us now do official show sponsor exactly match and see if that's correct. Today's Storm McKinney Radio Show is brought to you by making your speaker 
stands all spick and span. <laughs> Nicely done, Dustin. And because you said it exactly correct, you will now be awarded with final level status. You have touched oh. the final level. You knew without knowing. We have finished our journey. Nicely done, Dustin. Hold on, Stupid Mike's going to take care of you, okay? Thanks for being part of the show, man. Awesome, man. So good. Thanks. Uh, I hope it's a Panther Steelers Super Bowl. I just want to tell you guys, Mikey, you being a Panther fan, story, Steelers fan, uh, just because I want Steelers to beat the crap out of this being Panthers. I'll watch the game with you, Mikey. Panthers are going to do very really good. I respect your team and you as a, uh, you know, as you as a fan. I wouldn't be one of those obnoxious other other team fans. I might be. Yeah, I might are be. You I respect your team and you as a fan as well, so Mikey's the biggest douche when, oh, I can't get to oh, yeah, yeah, I was really nice about the Giants. You were nice about the Giants. Well, the only time I got in favor when we picked those other teams that weren't either of our teams. Yeah, but I wouldn't watch the game with you. But you see how I get. Yeah, I know. And I couldn't watch, if you're, if I couldn't watch a game with you if my other teams, but you're coming. You're like, yeah. I'm, I'm boring. Are you watching me when you're a But, I'm like, you know, I'm free. Opie, but free. That would, that cost you nothing to listen to, except that. That fraction of your life that is just gone. <laughs> gone, never to return. <laughs> that fraction of your life that just broke off your body and is just spinning into it's outer gone. space. It's gone. It's gone. Wow. Fraction of time you spent waiting for something funny. Waiting <laughs> for anything to happen. I do feel for those guys, though. You do? Yeah, they're doing all the stuff they have to do. All that hacky radio crap. How long? I want... Because I, I, sponsorships and commercials run commercial radio yeah i hope i hope it's early in their careers i hope this isn't where they are like later in their careers are they younger guys maybe and i hope for their sake they are i don't know good luck to you fellas yeah they look kind of young all right storm and kenny there you go i'm sorry fellas they're pounding the pavement and get, getting rid of those wings <laughs> Jeez, i would punch the sales staff in the <laughs> fucking face does every do you think these guys are like freaking out and want to go up to the sales staff and go it wings all the time everything about us is wings free wings at our appearances what what do you win to oh wings wings from Hooters wings for, get something else but no they have to and why do 53 everything. wings 53 wings yeah, they were giving out 53 wings, I think. Sure, it means something. Nathaniel figured it out. Is that 53 the way? Rain Man. Guy figures everything out. 53 is the square root of what the... Let's go to uh, Greg in Charleston. Greg? Hey, man. Hey. You got it oh, exactly 53 right wings. <laughs> what were you exactly talking about? Right. From Chocolate City? <laughs> 53 wings. I thought 53 said, free wings. I thought they were giving out 53 wings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you asses. <laughs> <laughs> 53 <laughs> wings. Well, you're calling fan like brilliant for figuring it out. It was just that he I misspoke. Brilliant. Jesus, it's 50 free wings. I thought they were giving out 53 wings. It's 50 free wings. Shit. Uh, Greg in Charleston, what's up? Hey, man, I want to let you know you've got it exactly right, Ope. You like you're reading his bio, and his name is now Diamond Dave Rossi. Diamond Dave Rossi, huh? Yes, they were riding high for a while, then they turned their back on music just like MTV did and took the alternative route. They did a real nice free concert for all of Charleston for a while, and that died, and I don't know what they're doing now. I'm, I'm getting the, the, deuce, the, the chills listening to it, so please just stop it. It's terrible. All right. Thank you, Listening Greg. Listen to it. Thank you. It, honestly, this stuff is really easy to do, though. Every station has, like, the rocker dude that kind of does nights. Then the conservative dude that's not going to say anything too crazy doing midday. Yeah. Then you got the hot-sounding chick that's a fat fucking mess. <laughs> and then a show with, uh, you know, wow. a couple dudes and a guy. Every station. That's exactly how it is. There it is. And then you got the raging alcoholics that do weekends. Free of charge. Raging alcoholics do weekends. That's your free radio, people. All right. Uh, Grab it up while you can. Bob Kelly's going to join the program next. We'll Get play a good one. We'll play Coming or Going. Speaking yeah. of hacky radio. We'll hacky see. radio is our first bit. We'll give you our version of uh, hacky radio next. Yep. It's called Coming or Going. Bill Burr in studio helping us out today. Bob Kelly's around here somewhere. Attacking unknown DJs <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Let's see what that station's doing. Turn down our music. Yeah. Back to the wave and uh, 
Charleston, South Carolina. The most music. The best music. Any station that has like the most music, pretty much saying that their air staff stinks. They want the least amount of air staff talking. And they're, they're so out of touch by even saying that because nowadays you could get almost every song possible on your yeah. iPod. So yep. to say you have more music than anyone else is just completely ridiculous. The best of the 70s, 80s, 90s, and zeros. <laughs> <laughs> the thousands. Hey, Bob, what's up? There he is. Bob yeah, Kelly, everyone, in studio. It's been a while. Bob, Happy, Merry Christmas. I haven't seen, I haven't yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Happy Hanukkah. What's happening? Why would you say Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah? I That's like a month you. ago. <laughs> I haven't seen you in three months. Well, Happy St. Patty's Day to you then. I it's quit been a smoking while. since the last time I seen you. You did? How long now? Three months. Three months? Yeah. And? Pretty good. Uh, great. I feel fantastic. I can sleep through the night without... Wake and I was waking up four or five times a night, coughing smoke. so bad that I pass out almost. My head would go numb, <laughs> and just something would come out of me. I don't even know what it was like. It's a good time just to quit. Phlegm and some something I ate would just flop out and go whoop, into the toilet. It was just and that you bad. were hacking that bad, and that's what made you made you quit, huh? Yeah, I almost pa- I would pass out. I would, I would get I would cough so hard that my lips would go numb. You know when you do that when a kid when you'd breathe <sighs> and then someone would choke you. No, and never. <laughs> and, you'd be, Dad? and you'd be going, Dad, cut it off. <laughs> you, never, you never did that? You woke up and your hiney was sore? No. <laughs> no, uh, no, I don't remember Never that. breathed heavy and been choked out. Wait a minute, dude. You, you never... <laughs> I've heard of the pass out game, your, yeah. Your lips and your... There was like a game that kids would talk about, but I've ne- I never saw it played. I, I Somebody must have done it. And it was you would hyperventilate. And then uh, another kid would get behind you and grab you by the chest and, like, lift you up while squeezing your chest, and you'd, you'd pass out. Right, yeah. It's like a game. But you'd literally wake up, and your, you, your whole body would be numb, and your, your tongue would be hanging out of your mouth it's like, like a, a cheap buzz. And your lips would be just tingling, and all drool would be just flipping out. Yeah, it's out called of- no blood going to your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. But, yeah, it was, I mean, if you had nothing to do and you were poor... Uh, that's, that's what you did for fun. Couldn't afford know. video games. Couldn't buy a <laughs> pong. You choked each other out. <laughs> choked each I didn't other have, out. have uh, G.I. Like Joe pong or game. Pong, so I have to choke uh, each other out. I remember the, the, game, the game in my school was they would just grab you on either side of your neck, nobody realizing you're just grabbing somebody and just squeezing both jugulars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the person would just, <laughs> just would, cut off circulation just keel of the brain. Over. It's better than going under a porch with your best buddy. Well, yeah, that guy's not here right. today. Jimmy would do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was a kid in my elementary school that used to go around and karate chop people right in the throat. <laughs> and he nailed me once at the locker. He would just do it, and he was known to do this. And if you were unsuspecting, like if you saw him coming, chin you'd, down. you'd chin down, you'd cover your throat up and go, no, and then run away or just get away from me. But he would come up and just go, fuck. And you, you'd <laughs> just start choking in the hallway as everyone laughed. Was he Asian? Nah, he was some, like, Italian kid who was into karate and shit, but he was one of those kids that learned karate, but not the lesson that's supposed to go along with it of discipline and yeah, he's not only doing use it for a fight. Yeah. Like, he learned it he learned it, and wanted to use it on a daily basis. Right. Like, I'm, I'm fucking... Someone gives him the wrong change. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Walk right the dumbest right. shit. Yeah. yeah. He's going to the Cobra Kai right. school of karate. Definitely the Cobra Kai. Will you finish him? Hey, will you go with the prom with me? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fucking trail of bitches laying on the floor. <laughs> Time to go to bed. That was a real scumbag. Uh, but uh, yeah, choking out. Yeah. But, but uh, like you're saying, you cough like that, and that's what's happening. You, you're losing blood pressure to your head. The sickest part is, though, is I did this for two years. I I, I smoked. Yeah, you know, I'm smoking, and I actually learned to make that just part of my life. Like yeah. this is what I do. I hack until I pass oh, out. And... I stayed at Dane's house in. Uh, in California, and all you hear me all night, just heaving up stuff, and I'm well, me running to the wonderful. bathroom, and I would puke up phlegm. Just these. Thank just God, you were probably in a wing of his house that was away from his wing. <laughs> yeah, does, so, does he have uh, a big house now? He has the same apartment, but I mean, he's apartment. just uh, yeah, he, he's just retarded. He just sold out the garden in Boston. Seventeen thousand people 
course. 17,000 people in two days. He sold out. He's doing his HBO hour special. Let's see them canceling his fucking MySpace account. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, he's he's actually, dude, he's helped me out. These, oh, Tom, I hope, oh. Dude, we talked about it on the show, so yeah. get into D it. Dude, you lost your MySpace account. This who loses their MySpace account? I'll tell you who. Somebody has the same name as uh, a black rapper, singer, R. Kelly. This is what happened. I had Dane, because Dane pretty much has the same amount of friends as Tom, the uh, founder of MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he called up, you know, had some connections, and uh, this is what they think happened. Uh -huh. That... It was a mistake. My account deletion was a mistake that somebody from R. Kelly's camp, the singer. Right. The singer. The singer. Ratted me out or said, you know, this guy's pretending to be R. Kelly. Okay. And somebody from MySpace uh, deleted my account. Just, just hit a button. And, and everything just four forty five hundred people and you know what I would, look at I never went to anybody I never went to anybody and said hey can you, I want to add you I never went and solicited friends people who just came to me so it's like forty five hundred people but you kind of get protective of these people like other comics would come to my site and try to leave a comment I don't even know you they're trying to steal my friends trying to get people to sign up on their site right yeah. and it's like you you're like you know it's almost you're using friends as currency. Like a friend of yours needs something, listen. No, they're, they're like cigarettes in prison. Yeah, like you, friend. you, you actually sent me an email. Listen, I put you on my top eight I to help a, out. I did. Yeah, it's, it's like giving me help out. I got about ten thousand yeah. five hundred friends. He's yeah, got Billy, a big. Billy did a big the same show. You know, sword show coming up at oh, Rascals. Oh yeah, in New I like to plug that. He's a gonna what? <laughs> a what? Take my rapier demonstration. <laughs> yeah. What? I'm wondering Don't what is he gonna Bob. do with all these friends? He doesn't have an act, or I mean, what are you gonna do? You gonna how about I like plug a... the fact that I'm on a friggin' radio show? That's right. How Bill. about I plug uh, if we're yeah, gonna be this is our act right here? You going somewhere. You're like living radio, our act. Don't you just do it on the radio? <laughs> what? But but they're already there. <laughs> They've already purchased. This is for new people that come across and. All those say, people, oh. all those 10,000 people just went, hey, look at this man with this M16. I want to be friends with him. Those aren't all <laughs> Opie and Anthony listeners. Are you uh, delusional, man? Yeah, dude. So, yeah, some of them man. are, but some of them are friends of the friends of the Yeah, you probably band. have some of my friends, my right. original people that I want back now. Don't worry, I'll give them back. <laughs> so how many friends do you have on your new account? Uh, 38. Oh. <laughs> Well, dude, you know what it says on the, the, the... I showed Anthony the email. It says... Not much better, by the way. It's 371 friends. Oh, right. Is right. there a picture of Waterloo in the background? <laughs> well, this is the thing. Oh, wait, wait. Shh. Oh. Is it over? Is the uh, morning show over yet? Well, now we're waiting for Dave Rossi. We want to see what kind of chops he has. Does he do, like, three songs? I have no idea. He hasn't talked yet. And then come on. It's been at least three songs. Back sell, front sell, one more song. We'll have to wait and see. Come Mike on. in New York. Mike, what's up? Hey, b -b -b boys. What's up, Mike? Um, yeah, we used to play a game called Watery Guy. We'd uh, casually walk up to our friend and point him in the eye and say, Watery Guy. <laughs> <laughs> you poke him in the eye and say, yeah. Watery Guy. <laughs> Yeah, we used to, we stopped doing that when we were about 21. I went up to my friend Chuck and I was like, I said, Blink Watery Eye got him really good. And he's like, uh, no more. We got to stop doing it. We are stopping Watery Eye <laughs> right now. I can't yeah. see. God you ever, damn it. You ever play Blindside Tackle? Oh, that's the best yeah. game, man. Where you set up one of your friends, like you, you know, you have someone kneel behind him. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You, you set and then up someone on comes out of nowhere him, and blocks yeah. him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then you great. push him over backwards. That game. Or the, uh, someone has their head down getting stuff out of the locker and you just cross check them. Those, <laughs> those old metal lockers from the 50s. Or slam the door on their head. That's always good, too. Like, but you ever yeah. play the one where you punch your friend right in the asshole muscle? <laughs> We've heard about you guys playing that game, and no, again, never play the punch the <laughs> no, guy in the asshole. Missed out on that one, unfortunately, nobody, Bob. Nobody plays my games. We. <laughs> it's because they all involve the asshole. Yeah, <laughs> horrid games. <laughs> passing out. So far, it's passing out and being fisted. <laughs> That's pretty much the Bob Kelly game. Let's go to Sean and Mineola. Sean. Yo, yo, what's up, boys? Hey, uh, Sean. 
Cohen say that uh, back in the day we used to play this game. We do like ten squats real fast, and then you have your friends push on your chest as hard as you can. That's like the game where you pass out, and then uh, people started hitting their head and stuff. And that's when the teachers got involved, and you they couldn't play no more. Ten squats. Good time. It's anything to screw with your blood pressure, and then you, you squeeze the chest or Ooh. the neck, and yeah, yeah. you're out. Weird information at the end. All That's right, when the teacher got the involved. Deck. Yeah. All That's right. when the teacher got involved, and we couldn't play anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> God damn. Wow. Yeah, let's I try it now. Let's choke somebody too. out. Dude, I don't understand the mice. They said that I had copyright infringement mm -hmm. on my page uh, and some other legal job. If you go to... I have actually a copy of... My old MySpace from my web guy who created it for me. Yeah. If you go to robertkellylive.com backwards slash MySpace, it has a photo of what it looked like. And you tell me if you see anything, anything yeah. that has copyright infringement or anything. <laughs> well, if, if that was the fact, like half of the sites would be gone because you post music on them. Yeah. Dude, look at it, That's... dude. You tell me if you see anything. There's I've nothing. I've looked at it. It must no. be one of your friends had something that was bad. No, look at it right now. Go check I'm it out. I'm not popping We're not it up right going now. to look at your... St do, do you think we really care? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Absolutely oh, please. not. I mean, just a little bit. I care. <laughs> it makes for a good story for yeah. two minutes, and then we're going to move on to other shit. That's your hell of a life. I like the life. goatee, dude. It's my sick goatee. It's uh, coming off today. When he had the wool cap on, he had a uh, Jacques Cousteau's yeah. crew look. That looks kind of cool. Really it makes good. gives a little edge. <laughs> a little edge a little to edge. Oak. It's evil Opie if it yeah. was a sitcom. Yeah, a little but he needs, edge to he needs like a beret and the goatee <laughs> and, a, and, and a, a little eyeliner on the bottom, like in a Star Trek. And, and a, a bikey leather jacket that doesn't fit. It's like a little too tight. <laughs> Ugh, with that's... gloves that the knuckles are cut out. And yeah, then we'll punch each other in the assholes <laughs> and choke each other out. <laughs> Let's go to Paul in Virginia. Paul. Hey guys. Hey, we used to play a game called Snot Willy. It's like Wet Willy, but you dig one real good in your nose and put it in someone's ear. Oh, God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, oh, Snot Willy? I like yeah. Snot Willy. It's disgusting. Oh, get away with that. <laughs> Very good. It's awful. Let's go to uh, Jason in Arizona. Jason. Hey, what's up, guys? Wait, hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Nothing yet? Modest Yahoo, though. Nothing from Saucy Dave Rossi? Not yet. Uh, yes. Jason, Arizona, go. Yeah, um, back in the day, we used to play a game called, we'd roll up to people and say, hey, you want to you wanna hurt to donut? And then they're like, what's that? And we'd fucking nail and write in the fucking stern, and they'd be like, hurt, donut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check it out, boys. All uh, right, let's go to Samantha in Texas. <laughs> Samantha. Yes. Hey, Samantha. We used to play Hello. kick it in the twat. <laughs> Samantha. Yes. Go ahead. Turn that radio down you because you're being very distracted. Bitch. Okay, sorry. Yes, you're being very distracted. <laughs> Holy crap. See, our, the signal, we're talking into a mic, but then it's got to go beamed up into outer space. Then it's got to come back. And does that take a little time? It takes a little bit of time, so there's a delay. Look, oh. for the future callers, we're on a delay. Turn down your radio so we can talk to you. Oh, I turned it down. All right, good. Don't turn it up because you'll hear me call you a stupid bitch. Um, <laughs> go ahead, Samantha. Oh, well, my space rolls because, like, there's a lot of friends. But Tom sucks because he deleted my account, and I didn't have no copyright infringement. What was the deletion reason? He said because <clears throat> the, what I had on my page was inappropriate. Samantha, were there naked pictures of you? No. Oh, okay, then we don't Samantha, want to talk to you. Samantha, with a naked picture yeah. of a chick that you uh, pretended was you? <laughs> no. Samantha? Yes? You don't have anything to add to this program, do you? Okay. S do you, you, Samantha? Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, but probably not. S Samantha? Yes? Do you, on your MySpace, did uh, your photo, was it just your eyeball? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've right. seen I know. that chick. I know. I know who you are. <laughs> I've seen that <laughs> chick. It's just her yeah. eyeball. Yeah. There are some girls that like. Uh, it's just a picture <laughs> like their hairline Both. or just an eyeball, yeah. a big blue eye with some mascara you know, on it. Yeah. And then you go to other pictures. Oh, they're just a mess. Oh, wow. It's yeah. a mess. It's just you know you know she's a fat chick when it's just an eyeball or a lip. Oh, yeah. like just a little bit of cleavage. Yeah, but you know what's unreal is anybody can get one 
one hot good photo, picture. one good photo of themselves. That's why you always have to go click on other ones. You yeah. click on other pictures and then you go, oh, what happened? I like yeah. the hot photo from a distance and you got you're squinting, <laughs> so then you gotta you click on it. And it's still like way off in like the fucking woods yeah. or something. Yeah. And then then they get to the real one. They're like fucking. Yeah. How about the oh, one where hideous. you see a hot chick and then you click on it and there's just pictures of her ugly with her kid. <laughs> it's like, uh, ugh. Hey, can I interrupt for a second? Of course. I I will bet a lot of money that Dave Rossi, if he's on right now, yeah, I'm be in talking. Dave. After this uh, song, Saucy Dave Rossi. After this song, yeah, because you got to backsell the new music, and this is a newer song. Oh, you never play the newer song and then go right into another no, song. No, you, you got to tell your listeners it. what they just heard. I believe he's going by Diamond Dave. Diamond Dave. It's oh, this is, is it? Modest Saucy. Yahoo, and he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to tell the people that this is Modest Yahoo. Saucy was uh, his Alabama name. Is this is this him? All right. Should be any second. Yeah. Let's hear. Can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did a great job with this song on David Letterman, by the way. A couple nights ago. I'm so psyched to hear him now. Like he's like you a celebrity to, to me now. He has to talk after the song. You don't let a new song go by on the radio without backselling it. You know he's an EMT, right? He's a he's a he's a uh, David Lee acidic, Roth. You mean David Lee Roth? Acidic, yeah, he's a uh, acidic EMT. Who? Oh, David Lee Roth. Oh. Acidic EMT. Only for Jewish people. If you die and you're Catholic in front of him, you're screwed. Done for. You're done for. How much longer is this uh, tune? It should be near the end, I ben. thought. Who is this? Modest Yahoo. Oh. Is that that's that Hasidic uh, yeah. guy, right? Rapper, reggae, it's pretty good. A little of everything. You can be boss. It's a gimmick. Nah, the I like the whole CD. Here we go. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Rossi. Wow, I am so wrong. Holy oh. crap! They don't talk on this station. And he's gonna make fun of us. He doesn't even do a show. It's already, what, 16 minutes into his shift? And uh, nothing out of him. That's what makes us different, man. Man. <laughs> uh, let's go to Tony in Brooklyn. Tony! Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, buddy. We used, to play this, we used to play this game called Open Neck where, like, you see a friend reading in school or they're not paying attention, and you run up behind them and slap the shit out of the back of their neck, you know? <laughs> Walk around with your elbows up to your ears, you know, your shoulders up to your ears because you don't want to get slapped in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> open neck. Open. When you hey, see uh, someone's uh, open neck. Yeah. Bob, Bob, you know, the uh, the, the copyright infringement might have been R. Kelly's name. Yeah, but I didn't put R. Kelly. R. Kelly? No, well, I, had, I had Robert Kelly. Kelly. You, you can't infringe. Robert Kelly, too. Yeah, but so what? I know, I'm a I'm fat saying, comedian from New York. I'm He's a millionaire that, that they were doing. That's probably pisses on teenage girls. <laughs> <laughs> he that? doesn't go by uh, he uh, he goes by R Kelly, but yeah, he does R. go by Kelly. Robert Kelly too. Oh, he does. Yeah, I went on the internet and he oh, does. But boy. that's what the guy's telling me that I might. have... But it's still, I didn't have any of his music up there. I had a you couple. Give a shit about him. Yeah, who cares? About, I had forty five hundred friends. All right, let's go to Mike in Cleveland. Mike, <laughs> I never on, peed on a minor. <laughs> What's up, Mike? Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, pretty good. Hey, we used to play a game called Thailand. Uh oh. Hey, you'd walk up to him and ask him what the capital of Thailand was, and they looked at y'all crazy. You'd say Bangkok and punch him in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> These are awful games. Uh, <laughs> I like that one. Bangkok and then. Uh, right I think talk. somebody did that to it. Sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> or I saw it happen. Is that <laughs> bringing back memories? Yeah, yeah, right. right. Childhood molestation <laughs> memories. Like, wait a minute. Did that happen? <laughs> Oh, that is really good. <laughs> no, that one went. You ever seen the inside of a van? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's say hi to Donahue in Philly. Donahue. Yo, what's up, guys? What's up? Uh, Bob Bob knows me. I'm the one that told him about the Vicodin trick under his tongue. Oh, that's um, you? You psycho. You got me. I almost had to go to rehab because of this asshole. <laughs> what happened? The Vicodin Remember when I hurt my leg? Yeah. The guy, uh, I was taking the Vicodin, but it wasn't kicking in right. He goes, listen. He, he, yeah, he used to message me, I think, email me, he says, uh, smash up the Vicodin, a half a Vicodin, and put it under your tongue, and then eat the the whole one. 
So now I was I was eating a whole one and then putting the other one under my tongue like cocaine. Those things are huge, though. They're huge. They are. Even but half of one would make like a... You were supposed to cut half up and crush it and eat the other half, not a whole other pill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know what, dude? You might want to type that in before you wind me up in rehab. The Betty Ford right. Clinic. Dude, I was out of my mind for a week. I was waking up shaking. My hands were quivering. That shit make you itch. Dude, oh, it's just, it makes you do a lot of things. Let me tell you. It makes you itch. Just take one for that toothache I had. Yeah. yeah. That toothache that I had last year, and I just ran out <laughs> yesterday. <Yeah. but. laughs> oh, shit. We just lost the uh, we lost the feed. How do we lose yeah. the feed? I fucked up. Oh no! I fucked up. If you guys we talk don't now. get how long listen. is it gonna take? Uh, I Out of the up. way, uh, Donna. You anything else? Yeah, yo. I talk. I was actually talking to little Jimmy about this two nights ago. Um, what they might have done, Bob, is they might have bombed your MySpace account. What you gotta do is you gotta set all your like little notes on your website so you personally approve them so they can go on because what somebody could have done is they could have put up like an R. Kelly song like one of his people put an R. Kelly song in one of your comments and then reported you so what you gotta do is you gotta click on account settings and set your privacy settings oh okay man you know dude email me that would you will you email me that information or hit me up on all right, cool. I'll, next time I see you on email, I'll hire you. I appreciate that. Right, yeah. Yeah. What and a all, shift. If anybody wants to add me, it's J Donahue on MySpace. D O N O G H U E. It's not MySpace, it's MySpace. All right, Donahue, right. thank you. All right, guys. Bye. Out. Uh, they're playing another song. <laughs> Holy crap. Let's say hi to Chuck in Connecticut. Chuck. Maybe they have hey, a Wi Fi and they're listening. I, uh, we probably got the guy real nervous today. Chuck, what's up? Not much. How are you? Hey. Point. Chuck? Chuck? Yes. Yes. Hi. You're nervous, aren't you? Absolutely. Aren't you, Chuck? Yes. <laughs> uh, I fucking it's love that. It's a new bit that we <laughs> are working on. It's pretty funny. I like it. It's going to give it, uh, We need a little more time with it, but... Chuck? Yes. <laughs> You're still Hello. sitting there. Aren't you, Chuck? Chuck? Yes. Chuck. Chuck? Yes. Okay. What do you got for the show? Uh, I've got a game to play with my friends called Fish Hook. Right in the when somebody's yawning, jam your finger in their mouth and a hook them right in the cheek. Jesus Christ. You put your finger in somebody's mouth? Yeah. That's not good. Nah, you don't want to. I don't no, want that. No, I'm not I'd rather get that game. Bangkok would be better than that. Yeah, um, Bangkok was the best one. Thank you, Chuck. No problem. All right. Um, I, I wouldn't fish hook. <coughs> fish hook and punch in the ass game. I'm not playing. The other ones, or Bangkok. I don't want to play Bangkok. <laughs> so I can choke you out? <laughs> choke me out. You don't, you don't have to Bangkok. choke me out before Bangkok or punch in the ass game. I wonder if anybody ever tried that game with, like, Master Poe when he was in, like, the eighth grade. <laughs> Somebody just slapped the back of his neck. <laughs> as he whirls around and pulls you out of the room by your nostrils. <laughs> have you seen his My MySpace photo? His photo... <laughs> He has a student in like some sort of reverse headlock and his fingers in the guy's nostrils pulling his head back. <laughs> pulling the head back? Yeah. yeah. Then you click on all his other photos and it's all just shit just like that. Him. And they delete my MySpace, but this psychopath still has his friends. Tearing people apart. Because right. he's not Master P. So what's the Master new MySpace Pole. account? <laughs> right. Did we give the... Uh, it's actually the same one, Rob, uh, MySpace uh, slash Robert Kelly Live. I put the same one back up. But now I gotta figure out what the hell to do before they delete it again. I almost wanted to turn in everybody I knew, <laughs> so everybody, nobody oh, yeah. had friends. Being in the oh, same yeah, boat. Watch yeah, I wanted to rat Billy. You, I wanted to get Dane. Imagine Dane's account getting deleted. What has he got? Like a million? Set, yeah, who says a million people? <laughs> you gotta give it up to him for being that fucking honest. You know, uh, he's like, I was so mad because you know what? I had it before everybody. You know <gasps> what I mean? Didn't. Not, not you, Bill. Well, who, 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 are you saying you invented MySpace? Well, not who, you. Who, 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 who not, not anybody yeah. in this room. <laughs> so what you're saying is you started before all of us and we all passed you? Well, yeah. You guys actually, yeah, that's usually, that's the one thing about MySpace that sucks. You can see where you are on this business. Yeah. I saw you, you and Norton just flew past me. 
I was checking in to see where you were at. Oh, you flew past me, Five too. in the morning, I got Bobby. I know he's this checking my shit. the easiest shit. job uh, ever. You, you, you bo- all of you flew past me. Yeah. What that bag? sucks. I think I'm paranoid. This is funny. I think he's listening, because I think I'm paranoid by garbage. This is six in a row so far? <laughs> he's got to play something. He's I mean, gotta he's got to come back It's and, been a uh, half hour of talk. music. Well, good. If that means he keeps playing music, he'll get fucked for not playing the stupid Oreo commercial, right? <laughs> <laughs> Keep playing the songs, Rebel. Come wow. on, Saucy Dave Rossi. You're getting us there, Diamond Dave. Pretty good strategy if uh, people are uh, on to us playing it, because then it's like, wow, they're just playing music. <laughs> which means he's listening to Satellite Radio. Right, which means he's listening to Satellite Radio, or Aren't you, somebody Dave? is, unlike your <laughs> quote here. <laughs> Uh, Unlike his quote, which was, uh, hey, did you hear what Opie and Anthony did on the radio today? Nobody did. Satellite radio, it's awesome. I think Dave heard. I think Dave did hear. I think Dave listens a lot. Someone's listening to Dave. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, uh, John in Utah, what's up? Yeah, you need to do a, a little game we used to call Midnight Office Renovation. We go the boxes, pack up everybody's shit. Just assemble the cubicles and stack them up in the middle of the room. Sounds like a lot of work. That sounds like that's, a day yeah. job. That's work. <laughs> that's like a second job. That's work, but it gets rid of the, the uh, Mexican. The little <laughs> section you want to you want to harass. <laughs> that's not half as funny as punch in the asshole. Uh, we're gonna have to give up on Dave Rossi, I think. No, we can't. Keep him in the background. I I gotta hear him now. Well, Steve is coming in here with our new game, Coming or Going. Coming or Going. You want to play that before, before we get out of here? Yeah. Where's Steve? 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 Steve, we need you. We want to play Coming or Going, the first ever bit we ever did on XM Satellite Radio. Radio. Satellite After Radio. our two-year absence. Hi, Steve. Hi. You have, uh, oh, there's the disc. No, you don't give us the answers. I don't give you the answers. They don't play his don't intro play music no anymore. I, I love that. That was actually pretty good, bro. Yeah, I got one here. I stole it. All right, all right. Here. Oh, look, he's driving by. Oh, oh here, here he goes. He's going to land. And. Oh, look, he took <laughs> off again. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. There he goes. 96. Steve? Yep. Good what to see you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Oh, you're leaving it running just in case you got to leave? Yeah, just in case. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, Steve. Sorry. <laughs> Did you ask? It? <laughs> oh, is that it? Is this over? Ah. Uh. Damn it. Let's see here. Performance things anxiety? on the burner right here. Oh. Bojangles defined. <clears throat> gotta is when you gotta have some Bojangles. A craving for that one-of-a-kind taste of our famous chicken and biscuits. What's wanna it? is when you don't really gotta, but you just really sort of wanna have some Bojangles. Nita is a much stronger feeling than gotta or wanna. And is that really passionate craving you get for Bojangles, chicken and or biscuits. Get up. What it's year is it in the South? How much you need wow. one of Bojangles and actually get up off of your butter and get some. And finally, Papa <laughs> is the end result of get up. And you actually get her to have some. Or in other words, you get to eat. Of course, usually in the case of Bojangles, all of these things happen together very quickly and in this order. <laughs> Two pieces of chicken, one six, and a bottom of biscuit. Whites only, please. Time. Throw up. Black people will be fire hosed and bitten by German shepherds. Oh, jangles? <laughs> <laughs> That's Bojangles. It is Bojangles. Thank you for listening. This station is in a commercial break and will be returning to its regular programming shortly. Oh, what a pussy. Oh, he, he played a half hour of music and went right into commercials. He knows you listen. He knows you. Is that an internet what feed? What a pussy! Oh, and the internet feed doesn't—they block the commercials out. But that was him. 
Was uh, that Dave Rossi doing the Bojangles chicken read or something? No, no. Everyone's saying no, no, no. Was he doing ben the, shaking the, his head means nothing to me. All right, someone. I, have, I need confirmation. Ben is like shaking his head, but it's just Ben. Someone's got to monitor the station because uh, we can't spend another half hour listening to crappy music. It's free music. Oh yeah. <laughs> free. All right, we're gonna play coming or going. Steve, you want to explain this game? You yeah. Come up with? Okay. The, the the premise behind it is basically uh, you. I'm gonna play. You're 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 gonna hear a clip. And you're going to try to figure out if it's from a horror movie or if it's from a porn movie. Because every once in a while you'll stumble across a porn movie that will have some screaming orgasm in it that sounds maybe like somebody's getting killed. And you'll get, come across a horror movie right. where someone is being killed and it could be mistaken for somebody having an orgasm. Right. So is the person coming or going? Get it? See okay, wait. Could you explain this again? Okay. <laughs> okay. There are sounds that... <laughs> You're stupid, Bill. Yes. <laughs> Little I too you, Bill. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Little too complicated for you, Bill. You really don't get it? <laughs> Shut up, Ramon. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah. easy. I was... <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, but all, but in some cases, yeah. uh, we've taken audio and maybe added some music to it. Ooh, so, a yeah. twist! It's, yeah, exactly. Love, a twist. Okay, you've camouflaged right. some of the clips. Some of the clips maybe well, camouflaged. Haven't you, Steve? Cause, haven't Because quite frankly, maybe. this bit sucked the first time we did. Oh, you, know, you it jazzed it up to hopefully save it, right? <laughs> hopefully, all hopefully. Right. It took me a year to find enough audio to do another version of it. All right, you ready, Bob? You ready to play I'm, coming or going? I'm ready. Bob. This was I one of the features, Opie, that was on our show when we were on the premium service. Uh, that's right. So you even had to pay extra <laughs> extra to hear quality bits such as hear this coming or going. Dog that's, shit. that's right. We figured that they had to pay extra. We had to actually write bits. Right. So they didn't have to pay extra anymore. We didn't have to write bits anymore. That trick never works. All right. Should we play the first one here? Yeah. All right. Here it is. Coming or going. <laughs> okay, this is gonna suck. Yeah. You just added hard music to an orgasm, and yeah, you it was <laughs> totally coming. Though. Yeah, <laughs> you could tell she was terrified. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yes, right there. Oh, that's when that's, she getting killed. Do you add uh, <laughs> like a bang, 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 <laughs> music to the background? That's that's what fucking an orgasm with West Side Story <laughs> playing in the background. <laughs> I know like, the next clip is get away from me. Bounce, <laughs> bang, <laughs> Oh, gee. No! That was a softball. That was that's, a softball. That's Max Hardcore. Right, I, <laughs> so, that was a softball. So this is coming. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, we know. Oh, of course it is. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you can hear the, the, the ball slapping against the ass. <laughs> Yeah. It's like from the stock horror movie sound yeah. effects collection. Yeah. Oh, he went to his production music. production music library. Yeah, fucking. they came to me. What part to of the horror movie? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. What part of the horror movie was that? This motion picture will thrill you. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's uh, let's see what the next one. No is. one will be allowed to enter during the last ten minutes of this feature. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this is like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, where it's ridiculously easy. It's, yeah. it's going to gradually get uh, harder, maybe, right? Maybe. Maybe. All right. Here's maybe. the next one. Maybe it'll continue to suck. <laughs> <laughs> Rated M for mature. <laughs> Ready, Steve? Yes. Here's the second one. Coming or going? <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know what was going on. All right, what was it, Mr. Oh, Smart? Shit. Oh shit! All right, all right. I'm thinking, have you tricked these up a little bit more than I just, just add music? Did you add I'm not uh, skin slapping all against right, skin? Right, no, you no, add no. the guy's bracelets jangling now, in the background? Now, this is good. This is good because he could have done other things 
I'm thinking, which is looping a sound a little bit, make it sound a little longer, add some other audio to the background <laughs> that might confuse you. But so what this really isn't the game that he described. Where he it is, but it is. The, so the, the, the actual you, person is yeah. what you're listening. You must get rid of the distractions of music and yeah, other. Yeah, but if you if you expand the duration of the screen. No, 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 no. I, I didn't. I did not what alter the screen. What was that? Okay. I didn't alter no, the no, duration. No, 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 no. I'm just correcting you because you're wrong. No, 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 so you have to just listen to the girl listen screaming. To the, listen That's to the it. Right. Everything else is could be, yes. could be could be smoke and mirrors. Could be smoke and mirrors. Oh, right. You didn't say that. Okay, you didn't Sorry, say that. I, I did you, Steve? I like Actually, I did, but I... By the way, after too. today, this bit is going. <laughs> but but now I'm kind Thank of you. liking that you're throwing in this is a, one of the, I think, a curve. All right, well, what is it, guys? It's so bad, it's good. That's what I'm saying about this bit. I'm saying this is going. This is going, a girl being uh, murdered in a horror movie. No, I'm saying it's coming. You're saying coming? So the, the way Bill? Bill? I'm going with my gut that she's, uh, my initial even, he called me if she's a smarty Are cast. you huh? Bill? I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say she's, don't, don't she's steal my coming. Bit. This is my bit. <laughs> Everybody's bit now, OP. This is my bit. <laughs> Isn't it, OP? <laughs> All right, Ed said what? I said uh, going. All right. Bob? I said uh, coming. Bill? I said coming. Oh. I'm, I don't feel like playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I can't, I can't be bothered. Opie All right. Opie I'm just going to push buttons and help you out. All right. We're, we're, I appreciate we're playing uh, ha hacky hold'em. <laughs> Bad bit hold'em. All right, Steve, what's the answer? That's going. Ah, so you, there you, you go. Yeah, but you know what, Ant? You, what? Let me just say something on that one. What? He kind of gave it to you. I mean, me and Bill just stuck to our guns yeah. because that was our initial thing. I analyzed it a little hey, more. Ant analyzed he gave it. gave away was... with the, his he, tell was, huh? No, yeah. it's the smarty pants. Yeah, he gave it away. Exactly. And we. Uh, stuck... that's why we got it wrong. Yeah. No, actually, I, 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 I thought you were going to go um, I Hello. Go the other way. Hello. Yeah, my face. Hi. Yeah, no, my name's <laughs> Anthony. I want to report... Uh, Robert Kelly, <laughs> yeah, the prick, sore loser, at coming and going. Uh, you know, I'm I go was within right. my rights to say going. And here it I is. love how his initial reaction of having something bad happen to him on MySpace was to destroy all his close friends. Yeah. I, I know what I'll Wait do. Wait a minute, Can why I do you assume it? that you guys are my close friends? <laughs> I don't know, all the touching times we've uh, all right, right. together. <laughs> punch in the ass game. The punch and the choking each other even out. When we, even when we don't call it a game. <laughs> all right, here it is. Here it is again. Going. She's being killed. Schwarzenegger in the background? That's that's a movie called Murder Set Pieces that Norton turned me on to. It is oh. so graphically violent oh, and it's it, basically it's a it's a, a no happy ending portrait of a serial killer. Oh, and nice. as opposed to the happy endings of Well, there's the no there's no good guy basically. There's no, no good, good guy. guy in the movie. Well, you know what? That one uh, tricked a lot of people out there. Yeah. Okay. So maybe there's something to this game today. There might be. And maybe not. Okay. Ready for the third one? I hope it's not even playing. No. It's his radio show. And he's like, yeah, I I'm, ain't playing. I'm done. I ain't playing. <laughs> you guys have fun with this one. All okay. right. Ready for the third one? Of course we Here are. Here we go. This is what I do for the game. I just push this. Don't tisk the sounds the second they start, because, Bob. Like, you know, you Bob's like, ah! Oh. She said, she nah. said, eat my pussy in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been a wolf <laughs> creature. Ah, oh, yeah. She, you don't say yeah when you get stabbed yeah. in the gullet. She didn't say yeah. But she kind of did. All right, well, what's your answer then? My name, and mine's coming, of course. It's coming, it's coming. I would say coming. Oh, I can't believe I'm cheating off Bobby Kelly. I'm, I'm, it's coming. You're all right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, right. That was the a, next clip going. My again. vagina. <laughs> <Here it goes. laughs> That's so
You didn't just play that one? No, that was a... Uh, that, that well, was just a, give him the answer. You over know. old fucking Nosferatu <laughs> organ music. Pit. Yeah, I, 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 I thank Danny for making me change the fucking music on that one. I was playing it for the interns yesterday to try to see who, how many I tripped up, and Danny said, no, 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 you got to change the music to... You know, That's the old Nosferatu organ It was organ from music. John Carpenter's The Thing, and I'm never following his oh, advice. Yeah, Nosferatu. I read, I read, oh, we ready for... Price. Here's the fourth one. Yes. <laughs> It's a good drum beat in that one. All right, what are you yeah. saying? Uh, she got killed in that. She You're saying going? I'm saying she she uh, died being fucked. It was coming and going. <laughs> it was coming, no and coming and going. There's no coming and going. Um, <laughs> I uh, I think it's uh, she was getting killed. I mean, All right, it's just obvious. Go. I'm saying coming. Anthony, you're correct. Yes. See, you know what, dude? You guys, you guys are cheating. At this. I'll tell you, there's something. Bob Kelly can't take anyone just fucking winning. How did you? How did you figure, <laughs> how did you figure that out? How did, tell me, tell me. I want to know your process on figuring that out, Anthony. I'm listening to as, the way she sounded. <laughs> Anthony, listen to, listen to how and you gave too much thought to that one. See. Uh, they're yep. keep See, tripping you up. Hard. It's harder than you think, Mister. You, Mister, the second that clip started, Bob went. Ah, he tisked it. <laughs> and now you feel embarrassed, don't you, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. I want to play that game. <laughs> All right. So this is what coming? That's coming. <laughs> And I'm not going to reveal my secret because then you're going to use it. You're so competitive. To do what? <laughs> you really are. What? To do what? Yeah. To decipher whether the girls are coming or going. Really? Uh, yeah. And then like what? in a what, hotel what? room? Do you if plan you... on like staying in hotel listening to the wall with a cup? Look, <laughs> I understand in the scheme of things this might not mean shit. <laughs> but it's what it is right now. It's, all it's a got. competitive game, and there's even a score being kept by Opie. I know, but I messed up the this score. This isn't a fun <laughs> day. This isn't a Little League 2006 where no one scores and everyone wins at the end and every retard gets a trophy. We're competing here. Who, who, who admits that they messed up the score? Opie. <laughs> I have to. I was just, you just got two. Just got say two. yes. I said, all right, wh- how many you got? I got two. two I don't two, three. You do not. I got I two. Got, only. I got, I got I bastard. I got two. I got all two. got the first I'm one. All, I'm, I'm only like one behind him. I have like four. Holy shit. Wait a minute. No. Ant, everybody How many got did the, we do? You've done four so far. Ant has I got, gotten... Yeah. Uh, wait, then I have three. Them. Yeah, Ant's in the lead then. Ant, no, I, I have got, four? I four. Yes. done four. Ant I got four. Well, one doesn't no, count Ant's because you four. gave him a clue, basically. I well, have didn't. four. You gave him a clue, dude. I did not. Yeah, you, why are you singing? Why is your hey, voice squeaking? I did not. I did not. Oh, my God. I swear to God, this is my game, and I play it the way I made it. Jesus. I made it. My game. Listen, man, you cheated. I'll tell you why one has to be taken back. Why? No cheat. Because when you said, this is what Billy, when he said, when he said, well, let me, let me just say, you said, Oh, what he what he said something like you really you think it's that one? You basically winked at him. No, I didn't <laughs> fucking wink at him. I didn't wink at him because and that I could thought, have been another diversion. It could have been. You have no idea you the game I'm playing, Richard. It was the first yeah. one he did. Look, man, you yeah. guys admit. First of all, you guys didn't know each other longer than me, Steve, and Billy know each other. Wait, it's not Dragon Steve in mean, the um, background having orgasms. Is it fair to say Anthony has one not more? Than me. Yes. Yes. I have one more. He's gotten all of them. He's gotten all of them so far. No, he did. Yeah, he did. He got the first one. Yeah, he got the second. One, I actually, three. I got four. Got then four. I got five. Uh, Billy, got you didn't do five. Billy, it's not that. It's I'm actually one that. ahead of him. You are not. Billy, Billy, I am ahead of him. Billy, Billy is ahead of him because the fact is, you motherfuckers right. are No, listen, Anthony. Honestly, God, he is ahead of you by one. No, he's not. If you took that one, three wrong. You cheated. I did not. No, you didn't get. You didn't get three. You got one wrong. You did cheat once. I did not. You cheated. I, I saw him play, play it back. back. He, play he, it back the tape. And all you're gonna right, hear it. Bill. You can hear Steve go, oh, really? And then he always said, Anthony, Anthony, she's dying. You know, you could hear the tension between Anthony and Bill. <laughs> I was just doing angry typing guy. Another one of Opie's bits. Hey, why are my bits being highlighted today? That, that's good. That's showcased. Stealing them. Stealing, them. Stealing is a compliment. Let's uh, say hi I to, have one more. Let's say hi to Nick the Trucker. Nick? Yeah. Nick? Nick. You really can't hold it against Bill because I really don't think, I mean, Bob Kelly, because he hasn't heard many girls come. So you're, I don't think you can hold it against him. If it was crying over midnight, <laughs> you can hold it against him. Sir? 
this is this is when you know a joke bombs. You say the punchline, there's no laugh, and then you go. So what I was trying to say there was that, that wasn't the end of the joke. The rest of it is <laughs> right. That was just the setup. You just relax. Here comes the funny. That Why was... did the chicken cross the road <laughs> to get to the other side? <laughs> So he could get some provisions <laughs> for when he went back to the hen house. Ah, uh, and because I mean, right, how are we gonna settle this? That's the same thing as the rich boss. Um, uh, we're running uh, out of shit. He tell something show. and then goes, uh, yeah. Um, so anyway, so, so anyway, let me take a sip. Ah, uh, all right, we're gonna move on to the next one. So is it fair to say Anthony's in the league? I'm yeah. one ahead yeah. of Anthony, you. You're not. You, you, you got all of them right, Bill? You no, have not, no, you didn't. You got the last one wrong. No, no, no. You got the last one wrong. I got it wrong. I got it wrong, Show Anthony. It on the Me. I, I got it wrong. You he two, got it right. You two there. picked the same Anthony, one. Anthony, I can't no, believe you're doing this. I'm not this. buying into this I can't shit. believe you're doing this. No. This is what I do. Anthony has four. Bill has three. Bob has two. That just sucks. I'm not going to sit here and listen to you two. I just lost my MySpace, dude. Fuck you, Saul. I'm winning. <laughs> it's winning. Let's go to the fifth clip. Winning. It's coming or going. <laughs> hmm. Coming. Coming. Come on, fucker. Come on. Professional <laughs> fucking coming or going, dude. Can I hear it again? No. no. We can't use it in a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Just to stay one ahead of you, coming. Ooh. I oh, think what are you gonna, what are you gonna I bet think it's why don't you just go bet fuck dollar. yourself just then? Go, why don't you bet a bit of fucking dollar? I will. You, you price is right fucking now. Four thousand six hundred and <laughs> one dollar. <laughs> Coming down the aisle in a house coat. <laughs> no. I'll bet a dollar on the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that fun this game does suck. <laughs> you nice great. competitive right. jackass. Yeah. Oh yeah? Winning the yeah. game. That was Jesus. <laughs> going. Uh, that oh, was you got. I mean, I got it. Going. I got but it. You, you both said coming. I said go. I said you did go. not. But you did Lying not. Sack did. You did. Not. did. Lying said, sack did. Did. I said going. No, you didn't. He said go. Dude, are you out of your mind, Anthony? Dude, play Anthony. it the tape. Anthony, are you, are you psychotic? Yeah, I am, but that's beside the point. You Anthony, said no, you both didn't. said the same thing. You Everyone said coming. Everybody said coming. They all got it wrong. He said coming. I went like this, and then I went going. Yeah. Did not. Play the tape back, dude. Play the tape back. Shut up. back. Here, here's it, it was going right. That was going then. I was gonna say going. I was gonna say it too, but I said coming. <laughs> All right, so it's still Anthony four, Bob two, Bill three. Yeah. What kind of people are they? One behind Bill. That's what they call him. <laughs> Just. So I'm too. I'm, I'm, well, now he has to go first, so he can't fuck you up with that price is right. Oh, yeah, that last one shouldn't count then. Here we go. Let's count. Here's okay. number six. Yes, it does. <laughs> Anthony, it's to you. Look at you. Look at. Hey, don't, don't. Hey, don't you. Hey, I. Oh, he goes the second they start. He goes. Oh, this guy, and he's the lowest. <laughs> you know what, though, one. Anthony? That might be my fucking technique. I oh. might be trying to throw you off. So ah. let me play the game the way I play it. Maybe it isn't. Time. Maybe he's saying that's yeah, what maybe, he's doing, I, but it isn't. He might be bluffing. I might be bluffing. You never know. I'll say that was going. Oh Jesus, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. All right, Bill. What do I got to go next? <laughs> I'll go next. You want me to go yeah, next? I'm, I'm going to bet coming. You I say coming. I say coming. And what did you say? I said going. Fucking asshole, that's what I think. <laughs> I think it's we, going. I guess I gotta stay with Can him. I change mine? No. No. Wait a minute, who are no. you, Anthony? You're not a judge or a player. I said no. All right, Opie, whatever. Don't, don't have to be so rough. You didn't like this bit either. Oh, yeah. Oh, because I was me, you fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like my second stepdad. So hey, stupid. I said no. All right, let's this go. This has actually no. turned into a good bit, and you oh, didn't like yeah. it. Uh, Did I you love it. <laughs> 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 I love it now. All right. All right, what is it? That was going. 
going. That Anthony was going. gets a point. That's, that's God. right. And, and Bill. Bill gets a point. And look who falls further back. Mr. I know what everyone is. Did you ever think the that Tampa maybe I'm letting Bay... you in so because it's your show and I don't no. want you get bummed out for the no. day? No. The Here... Tampa Bay Devil Rays. <laughs> <laughs> this was going. This was going. Why did I do that? Because you're like 20 games out of first. Oh. All right. That's bullshit. Let's go to no. number seven, all right? Mm -hmm. Coming or going? Is right. she having an orgasm or is she getting killed? Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. Look at Anthony really trying to figure it out. You uh, know that one. Uh, yeah, oh, the guy oh, first got to go first. No, I don't no, have to go now first. Go to now Bill. we go to Bill goes first. Why, why do I got to go first? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just went first. It, it rotates. And then it went yeah, him and then it's you. No, no. He went first the last time. All right. It but rotates. I went second. Let's Let's play back the tape. It's, it's uh, <laughs> Bill. And I was coming. Yeah. You got to take a chance. Bob. Bob. I'll say coming, dude. I, too, will say coming. Of course you will. You're all right. And we're all right. <laughs> No yeah. tisking that one? All I right. did tisk that one. You did? Yeah, well, I, I mean, that. Anthony 5, Bill 4, Bob 2. You can hear the money shot in that one. Oh, right. can you? Here's the next one. That's <laughs> two. Here's the next one. Wait a minute. How, what is Anthony, Opie? <coughs> huh? What is Anthony? I have uh, uh, five. How five. many is left is there? Uh, three or four. All right, so I'm depending if we could like right, move catch on with up, you really game. rally. So, all right, so basically shut up and play shut the up. game, yeah. stupid. <laughs> Let's push this stupid bit through. <laughs> Here's number eight. Deliver this retarded child. This is good radio. <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> push the button. <laughs> oh, this fucking guy. Are you kidding? <laughs> All right. All right, you're going first. No, Bob goes first. No. I, I, I swear to God, I was thinking about my MySpace account. Is there any way you guys could fucking play that back? <laughs> no. No. No, now you got to go. I'm not, why do I, can I just go second then? You're not going to win. Just, just fucking, Jesus you only have Christ. two, Bob. Every person in my life, <laughs> Opie, <laughs> you're not going to win. You're never going to make it. Be a hairdresser. Listen, um... <laughs> Uh, I say... Uh, Let's go generic tracksuit. What are you going to say? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Fuck. Oh, that just turned into one of your stress factory gigs. <laughs> hey. It's going to be at stress factory. I know. That's why I said it. Kind of give him a plug and a fucking dig. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a multi-purpose. <laughs> I like that. I have, you um, covered all bases there. Did you, Ope? Go, Listen, Bob. I don't even know what that game is. I say... I guess... <laughs> uh, going. Going? Right. Don't write down my shit, Steve, until I say it. Anthony? What'd you say? I'm I'm keeping track. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> now the judges are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Everything. I'm taking a little bit of a chance here. Uh oh. I'm saying coming. No, Bill, you can finally. I'm a, I'm gonna yeah. I, I gotta go. I have to say opposite him. It's yeah. the last one. Yeah. Going. Steve. Going. Yes. Yes. Billy. Oh, shut I'm up, Bob. Billy side. Bob, just Don't shut you, up. Anthony. Billy's the one that actually we got a ties Tied now. Game. Hey, dude, and don't just get... because you're so nice. far behind uh, and he ties me that you got to throw shit at me. He didn't even throw shit at me. This is going. Listen, don't get mad at me. I thought too much. Yeah. I thought you were trying to bury something yeah. with so much sound Here's that you were deal. trying to trick me. Anthony 5, Bill Burr 5, Bob 2. 3, I got that last. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Give me the third one. I got yeah. the last one. You'll what get nothing and like it. But what are you fucking talking about? I just wanted to hear you. I got three, right? I got three. Yeah, no, you got, three. you got two. You got two. <laughs> we go to nine. We go to nine. Could this be the last one? How much show we got left? Give me oh, Jim. Stop. Oh, 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 All right, it's to Anthony. That's too obvious. <sighs> say it then, obvious. Yeah, say it. Come on. Coming. Bill? Is this the last one? Yeah, maybe. We might get one more in if you... Well, I'm not going to just fucking throw it. No, don't throw Coming. it. Coming. All right, good. Bob? Well, the cough threw me off. Bob? Um, <laughs> you got nothing to lose, dude. All right, I'm going to say Coming. 
So she well, could make you up. You gotta go opposite. All right, opposite. Okay, fuck it. Right. Why am I listening to you? I'm right. now coming. Bob, nope, you're too late. You said going. I didn't say going. <laughs> it never <laughs> came out of my mouth, you fucking jackass. But how are you ever right, you going? Know what? I'll say, all right, going, going. I say going. Okay. What going. Is, what is it? <laughs> going. Yes! I won! I won! Yeah. I yeah. knew it. Yeah, that was a strangulation scene. Are Woo! you serious? That's that's Bob. You are killed, so bad. That was, that was actually. I got four. I got four. That, that, that the right answer had to be fucking handed to you. Oh really? I handed. Oh, we really? only have a minute left. We only have a minute left. You're back. This is this is going. She's getting killed. <laughs> This sounds like coming. All right, we got the last one. Doesn't sound like he's choking. No, he's. Wow, that's a tricky one. Punched her in the face. That's a. Listen, we got a minute left, so maybe we can get a winner here. Choking her while he's choking her? This is coming or going. Here we go. No! 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 Bill? Wow. That's quick. That's a big one. Going. All right. Bob? Going. Ant? I gotta try for the win. Coming. Holy shit. Uh -oh. That's not like you. I gotta try for the win. I think he might win. I'm all in. That's coming. That's cheating. That's coming. Is what that is. He cheated. just won? I won by one, my friend. This girl is coming. Wow. She's not, She's not getting cheat. killed. She's yeah. having an orgasm. Listen. No! Get the fuck out yep. of here. That's what a, movie? That's a movie called Forced Entry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you, of course it is. You sick fuck. Yeah, they so were playing Punch the Ass game. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, the whole premise was a simulated rape movie. All right, listen, uh, we, we're out of here. Bill Burr. Wait a minute. So she's getting raped. She's not coming. She's it's coming is, is a sex movie. We'll see you tomorrow.